Andrew. Ah, what, what's welcome. That sig- what's that signal in the sky? It's the rank signal. <laughs> <laughs> the rank signal. Welcome, Ranko pals. <laughs> Andrew, don't say that. Because we're not doing a pixel. Well, we're not doing a pixel. Ranko. <laughs> Just like Ranko. Andrew, it's going too long. It's appropriate because we're doing. Andrew, you've gone into it all wrong. Zones. Roll the intro. Oh, wasn't that lovely intro? Andrew just completely botched it. It started going into the full intro it's, of the episode. It's fine, Daniel. Don't worry about it. It's I, I bleep that. Andrew, say what say what you said again because <laughs> I've just censored you. <laughs> it's uh, it's a lovely day for a ranking, uh, and we're going to be doing Sonic Zones from one to three plus Knuckles. Oh, Knuckles, because that's essentially the full three. The full yeah, version of three. Yeah, still part of three. The definitive edition. Just... Otherwise, it has like six yeah. levels. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so... Uh, Whoa. Controversial. Yeah, that's, that's how excited I am about this. <laughs> we're going to rank off all the zones from Sonic Trilogy and Knuckles, and now we're going to go through the tiers. If you want to start us off, Andrew? Yes. At the... Top of the top of the pops, we've got yes. Master Emerald. We do. And then next, next up is Super Sonic. Super Sonic. <laughs> Our friend. At the middle ground, <laughs> yes. <laughs> at the middle ground, we've got not too bad, Nick. It's just your average rank. And then yeah. below that, which isn't the bottom one, but. It's still pretty bad. It smells like death eggs, which sounds like it's the worst one. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it does. And then finally, we have drowning music because everyone knows the dread of the drowning music if you played Sonic. Yeah, if you don't know what that means, then it makes no sense to you. But just assume that it's really bad uh, <laughs> <laughs> and anxiety-inducing. So yeah, we've got I think like thirty-six to choose from. I have. Yes collected the bonus stages from Sonic 3 and Knuckles into its own thing because they're just a little, not the special zones, like the little extra mission zones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All into one little bundle as like a little extra one at the end. Yes. And I, I haven't included the like two player ones zones. Yeah, yeah, no, they're just Because no one remembers good. them and cares. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we'll dive straight into with Sonic 1. Yeah, we're going to do them in order as well. So yeah, um, we're starting off with the original Green Hill. The Green Hill, me. That's green. <laughs> um, I'm just going to say I don't like Green Hill. Don't you? No, I hate Why? it. I just, I really dislike it. But I don't have a lot of like good memories of playing Sonic One. No. I did have it, but me and Adam would play Sonic Two because obviously it was two player. Yeah, um, and better. And better. And I just like obviously I was so used to doing like the spin dash and stuff and it's like Sonic One just didn't have it and yeah. it just I don't really remember playing Sonic One first, but Adam did. Uh, and then when I tried it I just couldn't get into it. Yeah, you 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 made the fatal flaw of playing the, the sequel with like different mechanics first, so then Yeah. Tried to go back. And, and like, I was oh. only like three at the time. I was only a babis. <laughs> Yeah, so, but what do you think of it, Daniel? Um, I think it's your typical introductory stage to a sort of platformer. It's your typical, like, ah, oh, lush greenery. You've yeah. got your, your palm trees, kind of. Fish square palm trees. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's, an, it's, a, it's like your classic introduction to the Sonic Stars. You've got your like your checkboard like ground. <laughs> yeah. And your funky files. It's a classic look. It is it is a classic look. Um, but yeah, it is very basic. It's it's just as straightforward. Also, one thing that yeah, always throws me going back is that they had, I think all of them had three, well, most of them had like three zones, like three parts. to Yeah, zone. three acts, yeah. Three acts, that's it. So like, I think it does drag on a bit. <laughs> because um, there's not too much difference in the Green Hill Zone. I think by act three, you've got like the tunnels and stuff. Yeah. You can whiz through and things like that. But um, in the grand scheme of things, I would say it's about average. So would you say not yeah, too it's... bad, Nick? Yeah, not too bad, Nick. It has the the unique thing of being the very first Sonic level, which could go in its yeah. favour. Yeah, I think that helps bring it up. So not too bad, Nick, would you say? Yes, I think not too bad, Nick. All right, then. I'll just slide that there. Oh. And then from there... We've got Marble Zone. We'll go to Marble Zone, which I always forget the name of, because I always think it's Marble Something Zone, but it's not it's just Marble yeah. Zone. Yeah, no, it's just Marble Zone. Um, which... I'll let you start. Yeah. It's, it's basically, you go from Green Hill, and then you like get sort of go into this like crypt area. Yeah. That, that I didn't think even realise was like a crypt at first until you, like, you see the top of it and it's like all mausoleums and stuff. <laughs> and yeah, I didn't realise that either. And then you sort of go underground and it's, it's like very underground and there's like lots of lava for some reason. Yeah, there was why. lava and then, you, and then you go on the platforms and, and they set on fire if you stand on them. Yeah, it's like a dungeon. There's oh. lots of like spike traps dropping on you and weights and things. Yeah. It's very purple. It is very purple. I'd say it's a lot more of an interesting level than Green Hill Zone. Um, I, I agree. I don't think it was too hard. I feel like I feel like it felt harder because the amount of traps yeah, it's that were up in it. it different very... to Green Hill. Yeah, because Green Hill's very open and there's lots of like speedy bits while Marble Zone sort of slowed you down and was like, right, you've got to be careful now. Careful now. Yeah, because the thing about the f Sonic was like, obviously he was the, the fastest hedgehog alive and all that sort of stuff. But Sonic <laughs> 1 was very not about that. It kind of was, but it was it was based it was dependent on the levels. Yeah, like, like Green Hill, Hill, you could go really fast. This yeah, Marble Zone, you couldn't. Yeah, yeah, and you see that a lot in uh, Sonic One, where some levels would utilize it better than others. Um, but yeah, uh, what 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 would what do you think of it? Where would you put it? I don't know, because <laughs> <laughs> again, it's not one I really like that much. Is it better than worse than Green Hill? I think theming wise, it's better than Green Hill Zone, yeah. Yeah. But would it take um, it up to Supersonic or no, still? No. Okay. Not for me. This is going to be a bit, a bit of a running theme for me for Sonic 1. <laughs> well, don't worry, there's only there. like seven <laughs> levels or something. I'll just slide uh, yeah. up over it and then pull that one back. Yeah, yeah. Then... Okay, so, so not, too of, the... not too bad, Nick, for Marble Zone. Yeah. And then it's. Spring Yard? Yeah, the Spring Yard Zone. Yeah. Which I don't really know what it is. I don't know what Spring Yard is. I never really well, figured what it is. It's not quite a spring, and it's not quite a yard. But man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but man. Um, um, yeah, it, I don't... It's just like a, a city. It's like a suburban setting. Yeah. Um, you can see like the city in the background, and... Mm -hmm. You're at the foreground springing your yard. Yeah. Um, it was the one with the... Um, the it, it had sort of like... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Casino night zones for some reason. In parts of it. Yeah, because... And it had like words floating in the sky like the word cope. And nobody understood why it said cope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, things like that, and it was just really random. There was a lot of, like, bouncing off uh, um, those things, like the star things, where you just, b like, hit off them sort of thing. Yeah. Didn't it have, like... I'm trying to think, though. 
didn't it have it like killer stars or something in it as well they were like kind of like big stars that moved around i can't remember if that was yeah what well, the, the big spikes yeah do you, you mean the badniks or the actual trap the trap yeah there was like big spike balls that would like float around platforms and stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. I was making sure because I was like, that could be any Sonic level. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like Googling it just to have a look at some screenshots just to remind myself. Yeah, there was a lot of those star things you'd sort of hit and just like bash off. Yeah. Basically. But yeah, I'd say it's not the strongest design wise because you mm. kind of don't know what it really is about. <laughs> no. Because it's sort of a bit temply, but also suburban and you're like, I don't know, I don't know what this place is. It's not got music. Yeah, the music's good. Um, but do, but does that do it enough justice, Daniel, to rise it from smelling like a death egg? No. No. <laughs> I'd put it. Yeah, let's put it in there. Let's put it smells like death eggs. All right, okay, let's go in there. Just to balance, because there's a lot to come, so we'll just I'll just put that on there. I might also have to shrink this, these down because I don't know if they'll fit in some of these. <laughs> I'll basically shrink them down then. to half and then they'll go underneath. Yes. Yeah. Ah, this one. Yes. Great. Yes. Labyrinth. Yeah, the love it. Zone. Drowning music. The Move worst on. one. <laughs> in terms of difficulty because it took oh. marble zones like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, you hate enclosed spaces. Claustrophobia. Claustrophobia. And uh, it racked it up to 11 because it adds water. <laughs> Yeah. So it was like, oh, great. And uh, those slides that took you down to the water if you went, if you were trying to cut, because you're basically like either going up or going down in the level. I know it sounds like every Sonic level, but they're specifically to try and get out. And if you. I like the theming of it. Yeah, the themes are like, aesthetically wise, like the old like ruins, like temples and like stuff is really cool, like all overgrown. Like, it's probably my favourite oh. so far. Yeah. But, oh my god, I can't with the, the, the stress that of level. The stress. <laughs> dealing with uh, trying to find oxygen bubbles. And and it's three acts long. Yeah, and also, like, the fight against Robotnik is, like, trying to escape it, going upwards. Yeah. And it's like, the, the traps are, re are really annoying us up because they're, like, hidden in the walls. So, like, the spikes on chains are just swing out suddenly. And black off of yeah, yeah, and they just smack you, and then you just die, and then you drown. Which is different from dying. Yeah. <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> Slightly different. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just it's just a very horrible level to play, but also a very nice to look at. So does that mean it's smelled like death egg, but bottom, because it's got a nice design, but everything else about it is awful? Uh, or is it drowning music? Because oh. it's just... I mean, trying to music, maybe Torture. maybe the hatred of playing it overrides everything else. Yeah, I think so. But if anything else goes in drowning music, it might not be. It might be so higher up on. Let's yeah. put it in there then, because it's very okay. fitting. <laughs> yeah. It's a perfect fit, but we do like its design. So, but we're ignoring yeah. that <laughs> mainly because <laughs> we're hooked playing it. Oh, Starlight Zone. Yes, it's always one I forget about. Yeah. I have r random memories of Starlight Zone. Like, I always remember the music. Yeah. And then I always remember Adam's friend being here and Adam playing it and they got to this level. And mm -hmm. I just remember seeing the faces, you know, like the little bomb things and they like, they blow up or like they blow up and go upside down or something. Uh, um, I don't know actually. They're like little, there's like these bad nicks and they, they've got like faces on them and they blow up. Are they the balls with the spikes around them fly around them? No. No. Oh, I'm trying to find... The, uh, they're bombs. That does ring a bell. I just can't picture it in my head. Yeah. So I mean, it's just like a really vague memory. Yeah. It was such a really random zone because it's basically like a construction zone. Yeah. At the top of a city or something. Maybe it's the top of Spring Yard, but I don't know how you go from Spring Yard to Labyrinth back yeah, up yeah, to the really city. Because <laughs> um, it's one of the levels I remember least, I think, because because when you played Sonic Crusaders, well, I was crapping it, and I'd get so far, and then probably get up to Labyrinth yeah. and I'd get stuck. So like, yeah, the I only playing through Starlight Zone and Beyond was like really like minimal. 
Yeah, I only really get I got to like Labyrinth on my own. I'd see Adam do. That's why I was like, it's probably like a really big memory. Yeah. But Adam did, did a lot of like shenanigans and cheats and stuff because he was yeah. just like, he Jiggly just wanted purpose. to skip stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I don't know where I would put it though. It, I think he utilized speed quite well, but it was also very stop start from what I remember. Like there was the, yeah. the, the loop to loops and things, and like there was a lot of drops. Um, but then you'd reach bits where like the platforms are turned into steps and it'd like slow you down so you'd have to sort of yeah but um, yeah I don't know I'm pretty indifferent keep... to it yeah I don't hate it but I don't better or worse than scrap um, not scrap yard um, spring yard spring yard the thing with spring yard is that i do remember a lot about it and i don't really remember a lot about starlight zone starlight zone had nice music yes do, so it probably do, smells do, like death do. egg i guess yeah i just i don't have memories of it at all no. other than that it's i don't brief. remember like how it goes from start to finish like i could remember like how labyrinth goes because it's the stress yeah green hill and marble zone and kind of um spring yard uh-huh. But Starlight, yeah, but it goes above Labyrinth because Labyrinth is hell. <laughs> yeah, so would you say above or below? I'd say bottom of smell. Bottom uh, of smells like that. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Alrighty. I can go with that. Yeah. And sure. then we have Scrap Brain. You have the scrap brain, which is the technically the, the final level. There's another level beyond yeah. this, but even though it doesn't really count, but I've included it. Uh, this one yeah. is the last. It's I guess it follows on. It actually does fall on directly from Starlight Zone because it's actually a city zone. It's like robotics yeah. industrial zone. Yeah, it's another one that I I have some memories of, but not a lot. I kind of remember there being like razor blades in the floor, like buzz saws. Yeah, and it was, I think it was the only one that just had those little, I think it was pig or beaver band, bad nicks with like three bombs at you. Oh, they were pigs, yeah. Yeah, they were pigs. They had pig noses anyway. <laughs> I remember that much. Um, and I think that was the only place you were. Um, didn't it have like I think it's a. It had an inside bit as well. You went inside these big saw yeah, blades. Yeah, it did, yeah. Yeah, that's why I remember the saw blades. So that's like the biggest thing I remember about it. I remember having good music. I think that's just the theme we've got going on. I think they just all had nice jams yeah, going pretty, on. Yeah, pretty good jams all the way through, really. They have flamethrowers. Oh, yeah, those little scoop things you had to get into. You had to get into the hole yeah. and then go around and it'd go take you through tunnels and stuff. Yeah. Oh, no stupid platforms on chains that were, like, tipped over. Oh, yeah, yes, I do remember. And it had electricity things on the ceiling. Yeah, it was annoying. Yeah. I mean, it was the, technically the last level, so... Oh, yeah, there was, um... I forgot about Act 3. Act 3 was, like, combined with Labyrinth Zone. So. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was, like... Yeah, it was... For whatever reason, it was just a blue Labyrinth. It wasn't even the same theme of the level. Well, it was, like, like grey with, like, purple yeah, grey. It was sort of like a chemical plant zone for a chemical plant zone. That's really I forgot about that. Yeah, I, did, I I remembered it earlier when we were talking about labyrinths, but then I forgot about it. <laughs> it was like... Yeah. Oh, that's really funky. Um. um yeah, forgot. Maybe yeah. they wanted to make it look different because of like resources do like let's just do a palette swap and include it at the bottom. <laughs> I think they were like trying to suggest that like under all these zones was labyrinth. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, like, it was underneath and it was all connected and underneath and then you just ended up in a bit of labyrinth that was um slightly different and less explored. It didn't have Well it's like because the water's a different colour, it's like it's been polluted because of the robotic yeah. city above it sort of thing, so it makes sense. Oh. Um, yeah, it's well, where would really you put it, hard. Daniel? Um, I'd say it's very suitable last zone. Maybe in the middle somewhere. Yeah. Top and middle. I'd say yeah. I'd say it'd go above Better the other marble. Two. Marble. Oops! I've just somehow managed to select all of them. <laughs> Shove them all. Not that it matters. No, matters you're, on my you're, you're fan. Yeah, just 
Scrap Friend. Scrap Brain. It's a cool name as well. I do like the yeah. name Scrap Brain. Don't know why it's called Scrap Brain. I don't know what the brain has anything to do with it, but it, it fits the theme. It fits Robotnik because yes. Robotnik has a scrapped brain, probably. Um, and then after that, which is basically connected to Scrap Brain, it's, it's called the final zone. It's basically just the last boss against Robotnik. And I don't know why it's classed as a zone, but it is. Um, and it's basically just one room where you fight Robotnik. Yeah. I, I hated this last boss. I really despised it. It was so annoying. Because it was like the worst was... trap in Sonic, which is getting squashed. Yeah, and you'd hit him, and then you'd go flying back, and then all of a sudden one would fall down on you. Or... Yeah. Or push you off and crush you. For a last boss, it was like really simple and straightforward, but it was so annoying. Yeah, and it, it took a few hits, and then he'd come out really quick, and then or he'd be on one, and you'd go to try and get him on one, and he'd be on the other side, and then you couldn't get to him. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, where would you put it? I don't. I, I put it low because I don't it. rank it as a zone, and it was annoying. No, I don't really think it. I'll just put it in Browning. <laughs> yeah, I put, it, I put it below bloody labyrinth. Labyrinth, because, at least that was because it's yeah. There you go. Oh, special stage. Oh yeah, the special zone. What did you think of this special zone, Andrew? Did you uh, get migraines from it? <laughs> sure did. Probably. Cause, cause I do it's now. Very trippy. Yeah, I know. Um, I, I liked the fact as a child that, that there was birds and fish in the background. <laughs> you were easily pleased. <laughs> I was easily pleased. I was like, wow, it's a bird and it transforms into a fish. I'm sold. <laughs> I'll take the lot. Um, as for actual, like, enjoyment of it, I didn't enjoy them. No. I find, I've, I've really struggled at some of them. Because I don't think I fully, like, appreciated yeah, or understood the, time... the, the, the little circles you had to go in that changed direction things. Yeah. So as a kid, I would just bash into whatever and be like, oh, yeah, I've I think that was sun. my issue. Like, if you hit the R, it reverses it. Yeah. And if you hit the spinning ones, it does that. If you press up, it changes direction to a different way and all that sort of stuff. So it's just like, okay. Yeah, so when you're a kid, you're um, just fucking flailing everywhere and you're just like, why isn't it working? Where would you put them, though? Um, I don't know. It was a good little break between all the other zones. It was like a proper little puzzle, wasn't it? But yeah. I don't, I don't know if they did, like, to sort of the absolute brain melt of it takes it down a notch so um, bottom of smell do you reckon or slightly higher i guess because there wasn't really much to differentiate them each from each other really but i guess that's yeah, like it... the special zones are all the special zones are all like in all of the sonics they're all the same but just different layouts and stuff yeah uh yeah, Sorry, but my chair, my chair's uh, like keeps going down, so I like, had to adjust just it again. <laughs> Andrew, you are in the special zone. Um, I am. Yeah, bottom of smells like death eggs. I'm happy with. Yeah, I think just because like it's quite basic. They weren't. It was, yeah, it was pretty basic. I know it's Sonic One and stuff like that, but like there was no. There was it was a nice break between it, but obviously like once you get to Sonic Two, getting the emeralds does something. So yeah, there's no real funner. incentive. Uh huh. To do it, I think it, like if you did it, then you got a message at the end of the game, or it might have added an extra scene to the ending or something in Sonic One. I remember the scene when you didn't get all the emeralds and Nick, it, it, Robotnik just appeared and juggling whichever emeralds you didn't have. Yeah, it's like oh, game over, and it's like okay. I was like, don't forget to get all the emeralds, and then it's just like, well, I'm never gonna do that. I'm two. <laughs> <laughs> I barely speak. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think so, from... bottom of there. Sonic 1, we're now moving on to Sonic 2. Yeah. Andrew's more excited now. So I am I, more excited I've got now. No more about it. Are the Emerald um, Hill there to start with? Emerald Hill, I've got fond memories of it because obviously I played it with my brother. Uh -huh. um, I really enjoyed it. I think Emerald Hill is a good first stage. Is it my favorite first stage? No, but it's a good first stage. Mm -hmm. um, I love the background of it, I love the music of it. The enemies are, are more memorable than They're more themed with the level. Green aren't Hill. I feel yeah. like Green Green Hill was sort of tropical, but it was sort of like in the mountains for some reason. Like the backgrounds are all like rocky. Yeah. And the greens are more like it's more like 
toned down. While like Emerald Hill's more like, oh, it's by the beach or whatever. Yeah. And the sky's like more like blue and got loads of clouds in it and stuff, and it just feels more like friendly. <laughs> yeah, it feels more sense. like vibrant. It feels more like a and good then time. So it's like, yeah, because you're like, oh, well, it's Sonic and his new pal. Oh, it's Sonic and Tails miles per hour. So I'd probably, I'd, I'd, I'd honestly probably put it up in Super Sonic. Yeah. I don't think it's going to stay up high in supersonic but i don't think it's not too bad Nick. no it also introduced the, the the crazy 3d uh like bridges yeah with like those you can see it on the screenshot now but like yeah yeah you do it like that you go really fast and then the boss for it wasn't too bad either i enjoyed the boss yeah it. it was cool like robotic and a little it was a nice stuff. introduction stage mm -hmm. more so than green hill because it let you really take control of the new mechanics and everything to do with Sonic mm. 2. Which I feel like it, it really had a good variety within the levels as well. I think Sonic 2 helped, was helped as well by, obviously, had more zones, but each one only had two acts, so you sort of, you were able to do yeah. more variety in each one without you getting too bored, and then you moved on to the next one. So I And it like really... Did that well. From what I remember, because obviously I don't have a lot of memories of Sonic 1 and stuff, it really opened up the branching paths. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So like at did. the start of the level, like you can you can go down um and then you can go to like an underground bit or you can just like jump across these platforms and get to a higher bit and you can do all this stuff across the top and then eventually they lead back to the same point. But it's like yeah. oh what's up this way? What's down here? Yeah, like you go over the waterfall across the bridge or you can go underneath and you'd like be under the waterfall and you'd see like yeah. what's stuff under there and it's just really cool how because like Sonic does that really well. Like the more games he did, they were like um in stages, sort of like like what, like where you could go, sort of thing. It was really cool. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, <wrong> game. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, we're not ranking that yet. Um, so Super Sonic. Super Sonic. Yeah, yeah, and then I think it's going to get moved down and stuff. It probably will do later on, but we'll put it at the top for now. There. So from there, we're moving on to Chemical Plant. Who smelly zone? Run corn zone. <laughs> yeah, run corn zone, as we called it. Um, best music. This is a, this is one. Yeah, it's, I love the music. Just to of get it. that straight in there. This is. I want. I was gonna say this is basically like the labyrinth zone, but it's not, is it? Because then <sighs> no, because it, well, it has, it's, it's a, it has it. underwater sections to it. That but, that bit in I think it's Act Two as you lead up to the boss, and it's like that the, you you go across to the right. Yeah, and you're under the chemical. And the platforms are like it's like two like a block and they're moving down and up uh -huh. like symmetrically on either side. I just did the hand action, so like uh, <laughs> you can put some blocks in my hand. <laughs> um, that I got stuck there for ages and I remember like playing it and Adam was at his friends or something and I was playing it in the living room for whatever reason. Dad was watching me and he wouldn't let me stop playing it until I finished it. <laughs> just Casual like child abuse by Sonic. Dude, it was just like, no, you have to do it, and I was it's, like, all right. It's how you're learning, is you're just out like, sobbing into your controller. I was sobbing. I was just like, I can't do it. It's stressful, and then he'd drown, and then I'd die, and, yeah, that, that and eventually I did get it done. He was like, don't worry, it's like <sighs> uh, the labyrinth zone, but now the water's poison. <laughs> just to add to it. Um, the boss was a pain in the ass, though. I can tell you that much. Yeah, any boss that because there was a few, there were quite a lot of these in Sonic 2 where like he destroyed the platforms you were on, with, yeah, like, falling into water and stuff. It was really, and, you get, really... and the really annoying thing about it is, is like after you've killed the boss, if you fall into the, the chemical, yeah. you can still die before, yeah, you and then you have to start the boss again, even though you beat it. Oh, for God's sake, it's like, god damn it. Um, I always got creeped out by it though because, um, the background I'm assuming is supposed to be more chemical. But it looked like it was on fire. Yeah. And it's just like, um, I don't want to go in there. <laughs> that's that's that looks dangerous. I think overall it's a really good stage, and then it introduced like the those tubes. That oh yeah, down the, and the it really made you go it. really fast. Yeah. And it had some interesting areas, and there were some secrets in there which was interesting because you, it was probably accessible by Sonic entails but it was really accessible by knuckles and it's like okay well that's really weird because obviously they didn't add stuff in yeah they were already there you'd go like down one of the like the big uh tubes 
like the shoots and stuff and you'd mm-hmm. see like a life on top of a pillar yeah and you'd be like, how underneath far? it it's like well how do i get that and then yeah. like the only way i was able to get it was by climbing the wall with knuckles <laughs> and it's like okay well there must be a way to get it with sonic and tails but like it's like something that's there that knuckles is able to do that they're not yeah there's quite a few like, like hidden lives and stuff like that like on top of things off screen yeah and you'd have to do like really crazy big jumps through like loops and stuff but you wouldn't have known to sort of go on top of things and it's like oh fact that you hit stuff like in really out of the way place like that it's really cool yeah but yeah and it's cool that you could find things easy with knuckles there was a there was a few weird enemies in it a few weird bad necks it was like the it was like uh it looked like an octopus sort of oh yeah and it was on the floor and then like it opened its head up and then it'd shoot you then there was the spiders that would drop down oh, and grab you annoying yeah they grab you and then they kill you up, like yeah god's sake um i can't remember any other enemies though those are the two main ones there's usually at least two of like a more in each new level yeah and, um, um i feel like it was a really good I... level to show off like usually like in sonic one they built up to this sort of zone that showed like yeah. robotnik sort of zone but like this was like the second level so it's like oh god things are ramping up a bit so it's really cool to see him. yeah have his own like this this early on to show him like he's taken over obviously more where would you put it oh near the top yeah i'm, I'm just thinking of the music <laughs> would you put it in master yeah. emerald or not i think top supersonic top supersonic i, th- I think it tops um emerald hill but i don't think it quite reaches master right just because of my father <laughs> the, <laughs> the trauma, trauma. <laughs> my father <laughs> and the um and he like, just wistfully just... looks out the window with a single tip <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was a bit as well just before you got to the to the boss and if yes. you didn't do it right and speed over if you didn't get enough speed to get over it you'd have to do these platforms but like sometimes he would hit a wall yeah. Or you'd clip the edge of a, of a ledge and he would drop down and then you'd have to do that jump bit all over again before you drown. Yeah, I think I remember that. It was so, it was like... Well, there was like a weird, in. like, four platform, you know, like, when the blocks come down to make a bridge. Yeah. Or some steps. There was like one of those part way down and you'd have to land on that to then jump out of it. Ugh. And it was just like, eh? Hey, man, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> So I think it, I think it goes there because of the music, and it adds to like a lot of speed elements to it. There's like oh, yeah. a lot of There's downward of paths. Zooming. And it adds those like black springs, but they're like you know, you know, like a micro machine. <laughs> this is like a really weird reference. And you'd press a button, and then they'd shoot through like the thing, like the two. Oh black yeah, did, do like bit. a do like a speed up thing, weren't he? Yeah. Like two wheels sort of thing on one side. Yeah. Zip, zip you through. Well, I'm glad you know what I was talking about. <laughs> well, I ignored the micro machines because I knew what spring you meant. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever, Andrew, micro machines. Talking out your ass. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, next up, it's more water. It's the aquatic ruin zone. Mortar? Water. Yeah, I know that. I'm saying more uh, water together. I thought you said mortar. <laughs> I did. Mortar. I was like, mortar. More mortar. Water. <laughs> um, I enjoy aquatic ruin. Yeah. For the music, I feel the like it was aesthetics of it. The least stressful underwater one. Yeah, it just had a nice vibe to it. Because <laughs> instead of like a lot, <laughs> it did. I agree. Um, a lot of water ones had like a right angle that you'd fall off to go into water so you couldn't get back out. With Aquatic yeah. Ruin, it was a lot of like like slopes. You could just run up and just get yeah, escape. Yeah, there's a lot of go. curves. A lot, a lot of curves. A very thick zone. <laughs> it had some great enemies in it as well. It had those oh, yeah, like the sharks weird. And, uh... Yeah, the sharks. And did it have the? Did it have the little fish in it? Was that that one or was that another one? Possibly. That might have been Sonic Three actually. No, th- yeah, no, yeah, that was uh, yeah, that was a different one. Um, but it had, had the those... drillers, the drillers, the drill fellas. Yeah, grounders. Grounders. Because he was from the cartoon. cartoon yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, because yeah, he came out the world, didn't he? To start. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, I like this was another one where there was like some really big branching paths and you could end up on the oh, top yeah. in the canopy. Oh, the canopy was, lot, was like, such a trees. nice look. 
Like, yeah. This level did like overlapping sort of scenery, like at the foreground of the camera really well. Like the leaves at yeah. the top, and then you'd sort and of. There was go. like a lot of like, you'd see loops and they'd mm. go up and around, but then there was a path going through the loop as well. So it was like, okay, if I went this way, I could go that through that. Yeah. But if I ended up in the water, I'd end up going around the loop and then back into the water or whatever. Mm hmm. Uh, there was some sort of flying enemy, but I'm trying to remember if it's this. Wasn't it like some weird, like, head looking thing? And there was, like, a big one and there was loads of small ones. Um, I don't know, Andrew. <laughs> I, don't think, I think the head thing was from Sonic 3 again, but I think there was some, like, little flies that would come and attack you. Oh, yeah, the little flies. Yeah, they, I do remember them. Yeah. Because you get to the end of just like, like a platform. They, like, strafed around, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the little flies. They were called Wisp. Where were they? <laughs> and the sharks were called Chop Chop. <laughs> I always, I loved that. It, like, this is just a, a random <laughs> tangent. Like, these used to all be in, like, the manual and stuff. And oh, you'd read manuals. it and be like, oh, look, watch out for the Chop Chop. Yeah, like, in all these, like, ruin. really simple games that didn't have the technology to, like, give you all the information in game. So the manual is just full of, like, layers of in game, like, lore and background and world. Yeah, me building. and Adam used to know all of them. And now I don't. But like, obviously, I remember Grounder just because Grounder was in the show. Yeah, yeah. Man, it was um, great. I would honestly put it in Master Emerald. Are, are I don't going ever there? feel. I think we're going there. You don't ever feel what? Sorry. I don't ever feel stressed when I'm playing Aquatic Ruins. <laughs> I feel like that's been a theme to... of this rank up. It's like, how, yeah. <laughs> how stressed does a level make you feel? I feel like, you know, it's a good music. It's got a good boss. The boss isn't too hard. You jump on, yeah. like, the arrow. It's really, like, it yeah, it's really clever it, as well. It makes yeah. it makes you think. <laughs> it really makes you think. And, yeah, and most importantly, you don't get trapped underwater that easily, so. No, there's one bit that where you kind of do. But yeah, like, there is. There is. There's, I think it's, like, one, yeah, the one part. And there's, like, some bits of ruin that fall down on top of you, and you're not careful. But there's usually a lot of bubbles around for you to get some oxygen. Uh -huh. Um... There's a bit where like it's like a it's a quite clever because it's like a loop. Mm -hmm. it, it, you you speed dash and you think oh okay I'm gonna go like down there but then like you connect to the ruin that's on top of it and it yeah. makes you fly back around and you're underwater and it's like oh god how am I gonna do this and you have to jump across but because like usually when you loop you go up and then obviously to like the right mm -hmm. it didn't let you go to the right you had to like figure out and it was a good way of just adding a little bit of tension puzzle right at the end of the water bit yeah. No, it's a really good balance of like stuff to do in the level sort of thing. I think that's why Sonic 2 is the strongest one because they shaved an axe off and they, they yeah. really like homed, like polished what they had sort of thing. So it's a really good variety of stuff to do in each like zone. Yeah, I'm happy with being up there. I'm happy. Next yeah. up, we have Casino Night. Oh, <laughs> Casino Night. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, it's time to gamble, Max Gamble, because we're going to the casino. <laughs> this is probably my favorite casino level, like or like that sort of themed level. Yeah, I mean, just but, I'm just putting aside now how Andrew was with Sonic One. I'm like with Sonic Three and Knuckles, just because not because I didn't like them, but because I have the least experience playing. Yeah. So you'll, we'll get to that later, but yeah, uh, I love. Yeah, Sonic I, pl Max I played a lot of Sonic Three. Yeah. I, I saw um, and played a lot through you. <laughs> that was what I did. Yeah. <laughs> with my exposure to it. Um, Sonic. S Sonic Night. I was going to say. Sonic Night. Sonic. Sonic Casino. Uh, Casino Night. I, I love the music. Yeah. It was um, like perfect. There was, there was nothing really like it before. Because like you said, like Spring Yard was kind of like the casino level. Yeah, and it had like the star platform. A little bit, yeah. But, but there was just like great music and it like bounced you around, all the colours were great. There was just floating chili dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic's a grab. You so, got yeah. points from him and then you could get into the machines and then it got you addicted to gambling. Sure did. Like, yeah, just, this just, this while well, Spring Guard sort of like had little bits in, this was a fully like you were in a like slot machine most of the time. Yeah. Like with all the bumpers and stuff and the pinball and things like that, just it was just loads of elements. It like into the level design. I remember. Don't remember too many enemies from it. I remember the it was like a grab looking thing. Yeah, it like it got the shield, didn't he? Yeah, it had the shield. Push you back. 
yeah, and you could bounce off it. And it was great, but I don't remember anything else in that level. Let me have a look. I'm not... Oh, yeah, that was the only bad nick. Oh, was it? Well, that's yeah. why it's the only one I remember then. <laughs> it was called Crawl. Oh, was it? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Crawl. yeah, because I think most of the time you were fighting against the level itself. Because it was the yeah, one that was sort like... of pushed and shoved you everywhere, sort of thing. And there was like... Um spring bits that were like a pinball and you'd have to hold it down as if it was like pulling it back and then you letting go mm -hmm. um obviously like the like we said there was the chili dogs that you bounced on you got points the more you bounced on them you got the casino slot machines and if you got three robotniks you'd lose all your rings yeah um but if you got jackpot you got a big bonanza <laughs> yeah you got like 100 the rings in you yeah, like I think the boss is the only thing that really lets it down because it wasn't really that. The boss was really annoying. Yeah, it was like you were in an arena that was like just a big U. Yeah. You had to like speed, spin dash and jump on top of it. But he could but be really he, like, tricky dropped, and annoying. Yeah, he dropped like spike balls, but that was it. Yeah. And he'd pick up like tails and stuff, wouldn't he? Is that right? No. I think he I'm might thinking, have, I don't know. I think I'm thinking of the comic. You think did end the comic. Oh. Possibly. Something like that happens somewhere. Um, but yeah, he'd have like electricity underneath, and if you hit him wrong, he'd get you. And it's like, oh. Yeah. Which is really fiddly. But I think, it, I think it goes high. How high, though, is the question? Master rank? Master emerald, even? Not master rank? Um, yeah, I think so for the vibe. For the or does it go above aquatic ruins? Ooh. Oh, yeah, maybe actually. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Because it's, it's more iconic. Yeah. Yes. I can yeah. see Aquatic Runes possibly going down a rank later on, but we'll see how it goes. I know, yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. But for now... For, got carried away just because of how chill it was. We're like, oh yeah, it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, next up, we go from a casino to the Alps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, not the Alps, because that's snow. Uh, just somewhere. Uh, where, just where? some hilltop. Yeah, hilltop zone. I'm trying to think of like, what, like with pine trees? I don't know, somewhere mountainous in America maybe. <laughs> I was trying to think of a place to compare um, it to. Wherever the sound of music was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Switzerland was it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, Switzerland then. Also um, known as the hilltop zone. Yeah, hilltop zone, I, I love the music. I think the overall mechanics of it are interesting. This is a, there's a certain point when you get to in Sonic 2 mm -hmm. where it really starts to slow you down. Yeah. And it starts in Casino Night, mm -hmm. and then it really comes into play on everything after that. Like, the yeah. first few levels are pretty fast. Like, uh, Emerald Hill's fast, because mm -hmm. um, Chemical Plant's Chemical fast, and plant. Aquatic Runes is pretty fast, even though you're underwater and it slows you down. Yeah. It's still a lot of movement, whereas Casino Night stops you because you get in through all the you go in the cave. casino gambling oh, yeah, and sorry. stuff, and then yeah, like... hilltop zone. And you have like you have the like the little like ski lifts. Yeah, you do. There's, You've got to take there's down lava down everywhere. There's there is like... lava. It's a volcano, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Because you go inside. And you end lava. up inside it, yeah. And there's like a bit where you have to get uh, invincibility. Um, yeah, to get just through. like rush to the top because like the lava starts coming up and chasing after you. Yeah, that's you're stressful. Like, oh god! It's like the labyrinth zone, but the lava. Yeah. Um. What's the password? That's um, and you have like the flame thing, and you're on the grass platform, and you'd come out of the lava and like set fire to the platform. Oh yeah, 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 you did, yeah. And you'd have to try and like panic to jump between the ones that aren't on fire. Yeah. It also had the Loch Ness um, monster badnik called yes, Rex, it did. Rex on. <laughs> <laughs> and it had the uh, the fiery, instead of spike balls, it was fire. That was called Gora. Gora. G H O R A. And then the uh, guy with the spike head. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it was like it'd drill off. Yeah, he'd like flat, fl fling his little spike hat off. Like yeah. Him. And he was called I think Spiker. <laughs> I think aesthetically, I enjoy Hilltop Zone. Yeah. Musically, I enjoy it. Um, it's one of Adam's favorite stages. Oh yeah, he loves Hilltop Zone. I'm, I'm, 
okay with it. I feel like it ha- it hangs on the sort of the border of being really like good vibes, but then it's also quite stressful in parts. Yeah, it may. It, and that's I think from that point on as well. Like, just, like there's a lot of points in Sonic Two where things happen. I think from Hilltop Zone onwards, it starts <laughs> getting really hard. Yeah, sort of like it. Uh, it eases you into the hardness that's to come, sort of thing. Yeah, the difficulty. Well, Which is fair, because obviously you don't want to. You, you want the levels to get harder as you're going through it. You yeah, you want it to gradually go up and not just like hit you. Like um, I'd probably put it in Supersonic. Yeah. Maybe would you put it above Chemical Plant or would you put it below? Pers- I think plant? personally, I'd put it below. Yeah, I I would too. No, that's green. I just realised as well how many like green sort of zones there are in this in Sonic Two. Yeah. You got this. You've got um, Green Hill, uh, Emerald Hill. Emerald Hill. <laughs> Failed at the first hurdle. <laughs> and uh, Aquatic Ruins quite green as well. <laughs> oh. Okay, so above uh, Emerald Hill. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then we go from above ground to very much underground to the Mystic now, Cave. I, I I love Mystic Cave. Yeah, Mystic Cave is really cool. I, I think it's one of the best stage. Oh, not one of the best. It is the best stage of Sonic 2. <coughs> I mean, music alone, it gets me. Yeah. I think probably my it's, favorite track on... It's very creepy. Mm-hmm. In the, and it gives you that vibe of it being creepy with the music. And then there's like all these traps. And like you, it's not something that's like been set up by Robotnik to kill you. It's just there. Yeah. And he's probably had some sort of hand in it sort of thing. But like... He yeah, because he's, he's, he's basically like a, 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 like a, he's turned into sort of like a miner, he's like mining it. Really. Yeah. Um, but it's called Mystic Cave, so it has like a spooky element to it. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. You, you know, like you have to hold down onto the the switches and stuff to open platforms to get across. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the vines. Um, yeah. And the uh, bottomless uh, pit that you can get trapped into. Yeah, there's a bottomless pit so you can die there. There's like spikes everywhere. There's like spikes that come out of the wall like really slowly, and you have to like jump <laughs> yeah. them up like steps. Yeah, jump on top. Um, yeah. was the, uh, the boss was him, and he had like drill arms. Yeah, he'd sort of go into the ceiling and like rubble would fall yeah. out, and you have to avoid it and spike. Uh, there was there was like wooden crates that would spin around in like a pattern, and you'd have to like get through them without getting crushed. Yeah. Um, as for Badnik, I can't think of any Badnik. Oh, there was the, like, the weird, like, centipede thing. Or oh, that was thing, it. It, it get, like, the... jut out the wall. Yeah. All erect. <laughs> Crawlton. Oh, yeah, there was also was the a... little Firefly one. Firefly, from... yeah. Frasher? What? Oh, I think that's a, <laughs> I think that's a Japanese mistranslation. <laughs> I think that should be Flasher. Um, yeah. But no, yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, it's also, you could go quite fast it, but then it would there'd be moments where it would like, slow you down. Yeah, it would. It's um, color wise, it's very aesthetically pleasing as well because it's like greens and purples and the green like, always threw me because when I was a kid, I think I thought it was like shrubbery. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's, it's like, like rocks and like gems yeah. and stuff. And I was like, why? Why is he a garden under here? Why is he lettuce? <laughs> <laughs> Because it's a mystic cave, Daniel. <laughs> it's pretty mystical, I'm not going to lie. Oh, where would you, where'd you rank it? Top of Master Emerald, I think. Top, above Casino Night Zone. Yeah. Oh, it's, my, it's my favourite. I can go with that, because I also, I'm a big fan. I'm also named Bort. <laughs> I'm also named Bort. Uh, quite a green, because you might go down. Yeah. Da da. Oh, it's sorted. Green. It's very even, apart from... We need to get one in Drowning Music quick. Um, uh, well, don't worry, Daniel, because we've got one coming up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, joke's on you. I really like it. I don't really. I don't really. Um, we've got other I, feel, I feel like... Yeah. I I think... It's hard. Because, like, I love the idea of it. Mm-hmm. But I hate the execution of it. Yeah, aesthetically, it looks, it's like, really cool. Like, it stands out from all the other levels. Yeah, because you just... Well, until, a, until the next refinery. one, to be fair. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all levels so far, anyway. 
it's like a big like shock like like whoa what's this yeah thing? And it's just like, oh, well, then, like, you've got the sun beating down on you, and it feels like yeah, it feels sky. very hot. Yeah. And and sweaty. It captures that vibe. <laughs> but yeah, like and you were saying, the execution is, like, really bad. Because it's. You end up getting, like, stuck in the oil slides for a really long time. It's probably one of the most frustrating levels to play in Sonic 2. Yeah, and you end up falling off lifts, and if you fall off the lift, you'll end up in the oil, and then you have to jump across and yeah. hope that you make it. You There's can, like little fans and they'll spin and you can yeah. get back onto platforms. Yeah, you can um, sort of save yourself, but then you feel goes then I'll gotta to get to the top. Yeah. And it's like those massive ring spike things that go up. Yeah, and down. there's a ring of spikes and there's like these little again, octopus like enemies. They've got little Yeah, spikes. the octopus one that sh uh, shoot little oil balls. Yeah. Like and then there's like uh, obviously because it's called oil ocean, it's like obviously very sea themed. There's like a seahorse. Uh-huh. Aquis. Was there a starfish? Or was that that thing that no, was No, that's out? the next one. Oh, uh, yes, it was, yes. <laughs> I remember, star you. <laughs> um, the music just feels very like... It, it, adds to the, it adds to the ambience of the level, for sure. Mm -hmm. Because, like I said, it makes you feel like very hot with the background. You see the sun and it's like shimmering from all like the... Yeah, like the heat. Uh, yeah yeah like and the, the yeah, music shimmering. is very long and drawn out yeah i feel like because you end up spending a long time in the level it starts to grate on you <laughs> yeah it does and then the boss is just Definitely. like it's not a super hard boss but if you fall in the middle like like you, you're most likely dead yeah and it has like a it's like he comes out and he's got like a little machine it's not really he doesn't really do anything in this one though it's like he's got the little machine and then he goes back down and then like a snaky Thing comes out yeah. and shoots like a couple of directions. And it can set fire to your platform, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't he and shoot oil that, onto it and then it sets on fire? I think so, yeah. Something like that, yeah. <clears throat> and then, then after that, as soon as that's gone back down, like a, another like spiky snake jumps out over the platform. Mm -hmm. so there's like all these things you got to watch out for. These little willy attachments. <laughs> yeah, and then like he himself is nothing. Yeah, he's just getting but to him. But it's getting something. to him, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, very annoying. A very frustrating one. Um, so what would you say it ranks along the same lines as uh, Labyrinth Zone, and just because it's like it looks cool and like the design's really cool, but it's just so annoying to play as. I think. Um, would you rank maybe? It up a notch? I'd I'd take it up a notch because like mechanically, it's very interesting. Yeah. And and it fits cool the things. theme of it well, like yeah. said, like the just the overall theme. It's very different from everything else, but it's just a very stressful stage, and mm -hmm. there's just so many instances where you can die. Yes, <laughs> which again is going to happen a lot in Sonic Two. So, mm -hmm. um, you just feel very I'd exposed say, in it, don't you? I feel like I feel like it's not it's below not too bad, Nick, because. Because of all the stress it brings me, and I've just got I haven't got good memories of it. And even then, it like obviously we're not doing this today, but it's back in Sonic Mania, and it really pissed yeah. me off that it was back in Sonic Mania. Yeah, I think I really struggled with it. <laughs> I was like, for God's sake, why have you brought this back out of everything? Four more levels. <laughs> of all the stages. Yeah. So where's Mystic Cave? <laughs> um. But I don't think it's worse than than Starlight and Spring Yard. So the top of Smells Like Death X. Yeah. But I don't oh. think it, it's not too bad, Nick. Yeah, for different reasons, it's uh, there. Spring Yard? Oh, I've got I to think find all the... The design and theme like. of it, like, saves it sort of thing. Yeah. Um, That's the one. <laughs> yeah. That's it. It's like, no. It's <laughs> Please. <here. laughs> it's all coming back to me now. <laughs> so this is like Robotics. Oil yard where he fuels all his machines. And then we this, gave him uh, the, there to his the city. <laughs> his factory. M M Metropolis. His, his Badnik factory. Or like Death Egg factory, as I always assumed it was. 
Oh yeah. I think um, it was meant to be like a city. Was it? Yeah, but I, th I think because the levels you're playing is, is just like a big factory. Well, it did a really bad sh job. It's because it's, it it's, it's called Metropolis, so it's like, I know, it's yeah. like a big, big sort of mechanical empire sort now of thing. Now then, Daniel. Now, now, now. Now, now, now. now Daniel. Now. This had three acts. Yes, it had three acts. What? It had the stressful boss of, um, like, the, the robotics surrounded by the... Inflatable balls, whatever it was, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the balloon version. And then you'd hit one and it'd make it's a like mini decoys. version of him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't have many good memories of Metropolis. Do you know what? I think it goes against it. Obviously, it has three acts, but also, even if it didn't, it sort of really, like, dragged on. Because it really, like, slowed you down. Yeah, it's... And it's everything... Like, the badness like, got you quite easily in this. Yeah, you had like the mantis one. You threw its claws at you. You had the starfish that blew up. Yeah. You had <laughs> the other ones. <laughs> and the rest. Let me look. There, like... there was the um, like the the. Oh, the, the crab. Bolt. Oh yeah, the crab With that looks like it's on the phone. <laughs> There's a hello. I was like, oh no, I've got to kill a hedgehog. I'll be right back. <laughs> <The> <laughs> Yeah. Um, there was like the bolts, yeah, the bolts, or the to nuts, go up. and you had to spin Screw on up. him and to go off. And then right at the top, there was always spikes, and if you hit it, you'd fall. And then, like, yes, you'd have to run, run back, like, you'd have to run back and then like respawn it in. Then there was like, we always do, like, you'll know exactly what I mean when I say this. We always called them cheese wedges that bounced you off the wall, yes. <laughs> The little spring, springy little inflatable things you bounced off. Yeah. But they were like wedges in the wall. There's like loads of them, so you, you could like bounce off either side of the wall. But you hit him wrong, and he'd end up going down. He was like, oh. I like the music. I oh, yeah, the music was fantastic. Uh, but just everything about it uh, after that, I hate. This could have been like the last level in the game because it's like sort of robotics empire on the ground. Sort yeah. Of thing. Uh, factory place. I can't remember. What was the boss of Metropolis? So obviously we talked about the mini boss, but what was the actual boss? I thought that was the boss. Oh, maybe. It was. I think it was. I'm sure it was. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking it's... of Sonic Three because obviously yeah. like that whole, like mini bosses and stuff in between. Yeah, it was just the one with the inflatable thingies. Yeah, it wasn't really. It didn't really fit the theme of it or anything. It did shoot lasers. <laughs> no, it didn't really. Yeah. I don't think he did anything. I think he was literally just floating around. There's a screenshot of him shooting a laser. But... Is that when you defeated... I, th I, th I think he did yeah, after you defeated all these little decoys. I think he yeah. started shooting them. And then that but was like, it, Even really. aesthetically, I don't like the... It's like a weird, greeny, grey... Yeah, it's like steampunky, but it's like there's like green girders. And... It's like girders it... in pipes. Gurder. Yeah. Gurder. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I don't have a lot of other... And... It's... It was the day that <laughs> where I went blanket. I, I was waiting for this story. <laughs> I, mean, I was playing at Andy's house years ago, and we just lost <laughs> it because. Was did you say blanket? Yeah, I said yeah. blanket. Because uh, Michael Jackson. I don't know what. Child. Yeah. Well, for some reason, Andrew just. We said were talking. That. We were talking about him before that. I think. <laughs> and I, was, I was just like blanket. <laughs> <laughs> and I just and then you were crying. Died. Oh. Um, but we were playing this at the time and it was a really hot summer day yeah we were really struggling to just get through it <laughs> and then like because we, we were like let's just play it and then we took my playstation I think because I had a collection or something we took my playstation downstairs yeah. and we were playing it on the TV while my mum was at work or something or out it was just a really hot day and we were like because my room gets really hot yeah and it's just like oh so we, just, we just thought we'd do it we had like snacks we had drinks but not alcoholic drinks because we were only like 12. <laughs> we were we were older than that but yeah uh, that, yeah so just... that's why metropolis zone is going in mass travel <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the only reason why the reasons are up. nothing to do with the game uh but that we got a game over there and then we just we yeah we just couldn't get past it could we we got to we got to right at uh, rank three act three yeah but where would you put it it's a tricky one. It is a tricky one. I'm tempted to put it somewhere in the middle. I think... I think it... it, it oh, I don't know. I think it goes in not too bad, Nick. Yeah. 
even at all the hate we just gave it, I still I think it goes into <laughs> not too bad, Nick. But where would it go there? Because I don't really like, I don't really rate the other one, like you know, as high as it. But then like I absolutely despise Metropolis as well. So. <laughs> um. Well, I think it goes in front of all of them, like at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, just because design wise, it's obviously come a long way since those are all like Sonic One. Ones, and it does so. have a bop of a soundtrack. It does. Oh, you, <laughs> I started then, and you started the different bit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it had those like weird like that was another thing that had like weird three D things in it. It was like those like yeah wire mesh cylinders. That oh yeah, the, the made your eyes go weird. And then the the bolts were kind of 3D as well. Yeah, they were. Or the, it was, it was, I was like fascinated, like how they did that. Cause it's just, yeah. For the the Sega, it's really cool. So yeah, not too bad, Nick. I guess, even though we yeah. hate playing it. Was moving on to something a little different. We're taking it to the sky. Tails, get over here. You're actually useful now. Yeah. Get the bi plane. Get the bisexual. Plane. I like. I the bisexual. Plane. <laughs> I like Sky Chase. Mm. I think it's just it's, so different to everything else. You were just like stood on the plane, the music was nice, and it was just like, oh, look, you've got these weird like egg things with propellers. Yeah. You've got and the, the, the plane ones, the eagle yeah, planes. Yeah, like the Harriers. Are they, were they called Harriers? I've got I think, yeah, head, I'm sure they were. That's in my head as well. Yeah. And then you've got the turtles that are like the big turtles with the tiny turtle riding on the back, and you had to kill the tiny one. Yeah. Yeah, they are they were my favorite. Yeah, I really like them. That's just a really cool like, design. Are they called snappers? Turtloids. Oh. Oh, it was called. <laughs> the, the, the Harrier was called B Valkyrie, but I feel like that's maybe Valkyrie. <laughs> yeah, Valkyrie. <laughs> but it's spelled really weird. And the, the weird repellents were called Nebula. <laughs> sure. Of course. <laughs> Uh, I really, I, I do really like it. It's just a cool level. Like you're flying on the plane. I don't know. If, like it's not very long, is it? Because it's sort of an in between level. It's yeah, a transitional it's, level. it's its own zone. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really think you can call it a zone. To be honest, because you just it's literally sky. like a cutscene <laughs> you play. You go, go yeah. between Metropolis and the next one. But like, it's cool that you get got... to play it. It's really cool. Yeah. It could be very annoying though at parts because like tails could really screw you over because mm -hmm. he would move exactly how you move. So like if you jump to the right, you couldn't fall off because that'd be, that'd be horrible. Yeah. And tails like moved left and you moved right, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Um. But like he um, if you didn't do it right, he would catch you at the wrong point and he, yeah. he, you'd get hit. And yeah, it's just like, oh, yeah, tails. Yeah, yeah. Tails, you're cool. <laughs> Miles. <laughs> Miles. Um, there's not really much else to say about it, to be honest. Nah, that's Either pretty like, much it, it's really. Cool, it's a cool stage. It's a cool idea. It's a nice break after Metropolis because it's like it's a yeah. short stage. It's a very nice little easy break, really. Um, so where would you put it? I don't think we can rank it too high based on the fact that it's not really a level. I think, yeah, probably... It not might be bad, quite low, not too, yeah, maybe in the middle. Yeah, just because it's very nice. Maybe it, mm, it depends because obviously you don't rate the other levels, but I feel like it can't go too high above them. I think it goes above marble and green. Okay, but yeah, probably not fair. above scrap. Yeah, but yeah. like right in the center. Right, right in that chocolatey center. Because it's just there's nothing more to it than that. Yeah. Does exactly what it says on the tin. You sky chase in a zone. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I do. I, think, I just think it's really cool. Like instead of just being like our little clip of you flying with tails. Yeah, they actually get you level, to play it. You, you play it between, and it's just like a little short thing. Very nice. But then, ah. where are you going to, Andrew? You going to? You're going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> You're going to Wing Fortress. Now I think um, I got stuck on here. This is a my, my original playthrough. I this is where I'd get stuck on the end of this level. Yeah, so Adam was, was really good at Wing Fortress. I would die a lot, and then by the time I got to the boss, I'd have there no was wings. so much death platforming. Yeah, it wasn't even just like a platform 
that like if you fell off you get spiked or whatever there was just like you you drop, drop and fall off yeah and there was like bits that would stick out there was like i think there was supposed to be like guns or whatever and they'd stick out there was like well they moving. were bad mix as well yeah called cluckers <laughs> yeah because i always thought that was supposed to be scratch yeah could have been it was just in a turret um if you were fortunate enough to get through all the special stages and get supersonic don't ever use a non-wing fortress why andrew because it's just stupid <laughs> that's silly because he is too fast yeah you can't. he's too fast for wing fortress yeah that's the thing you can't do use your speed on this level like at all because you will just, just like, fly you off make the side. A, a small jump and you just like end up in in a turbine <laughs> yeah it's like ah! um there's like bits with like it felt like what do you call it like scaffolding <laughs> yeah that's weird like it was like they'd move up and down because obviously like it's probably like the way that the the, the fortress is moving mm -hmm. um but i just don't i don't like it and then there's a bit really early on in the first act oh no it's only one act sorry there was a really there was a bit that was yeah because it's technically really sort of the last dungeon it's, tied with the next bit wasn't it yeah it's like sky chase wing fortress and then the next one we're all like together yeah um there was just um it was like you 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 were on a platform and you had to jump and you'd hang on to a bar and then you had to oh, jump had to the thing. next platform but there was like the jets underneath like shooting yeah, down over you clicked blasting. it you'd die yeah. if you didn't make it a, a big enough leap he would grab onto like the left side of the bar and he needed to be on the right side to make the jump and stuff and then there was another one and it was just like for god's sake stop it <laughs> i'm four years old <laughs> <laughs> i'm barely alive I can't even do it now. Like, if I go back and play it, I hate it. Yeah. I just, it's I one of really those things like, oh, I love Sonic 2, and you go play it, and it's like, actually, I'm crap. <laughs> actually, looking at this rank up. <laughs> oh, no, they're all, they all are pretty high, to be honest. Yeah. Considering the lowest is Oil Ocean so far. Oh, yeah, Sonic 2. Yeah. Well, where, did, um, where would this go then, would you say? Oh, actually, I just remembered the boss. It was like, it was. It, like a little laser thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't even the one. He was like in the. Oh no, he was. He was controlling it from the other side, wasn't he? Yeah, he, he, he was shot trapped. a laser, and you had, to, and every time he shot it, it would like make it a smaller area, and, and it oh, just keep getting smaller. So um, I don't know. I don't. The, even the music doesn't do it for me. I don't like the music. No, because it was like. Dum, 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 dum. Yeah. <laughs> it really did dun, dun, set dun, dun, the mood. <laughs> It was just like it, it fit, but it was just like I'm too stressed for it to fit listen too to much. you draw, <laughs> to draw out your notes. <laughs> Down your air, just robot it with like a trumpet. Just... And there was like a like I I think would it go in drowning music? Oh maybe. Or would it go smells like, like death damage. egg? I feel like it's probably not that bad, but we did put labyrinth in there. Well, Labyrinth was terrible though. Labyrinth is awful. Yeah, I feel like it goes against Labyrinth's favor uh, fav because it was in the Sonic One thing where yeah. level design was very blocky and stop start. Yeah. So maybe not quite that low. I don't know. Oh. Maybe. Either again, top of Drowning ground? Musical. Somewhere oh, bottom of yeah, bottom of thing, but above special stages because the special stages were kind of like eh. yeah, yeah, above special stages, but below Starlight. Yeah, or above Starlight, but below Spring Yard. Yeah, because it's more... Memorable. Oh, it's God. very memorable. Yeah, for the wrong reasons. Uh, yeah, but unfortunately, yeah. Starlight. Yeah, I couldn't find it either. I was just like, what, what did I, I know, say? it's going to get this <laughs> a bit harder because it's so many. Uh, yeah, it's like that. There you go. It's between Scrap Yard and the Spring Yard. It's too many yards. Scrap. Oh, yeah. Right. So spring and sigh. <laughs> but brain. I always uh, want to say scrapyard because it sounds it makes Yeah, it sounds right. Better it? Scent. But then spring brain doesn't. So. Spring I got a spring in my brain. And then wing fortress. you go from Wing Fortress and then you go into and, bed. And then Tails dies. Yeah. 
because he can't breathe. He, he crashes again. <laughs> it's like, ah. Is he it? Like, just before we continue on with this, um, I know he turns up at the end of Wing Fortress with a plane again, so you can jump onto robotic ship. Yeah. But does he? Is he in there with you? I don't. In Wing Fortress. Is that he crashes at the start? He gets shot down. I think yes. he does. I think he turns up. Yeah, he probably flies in himself, doesn't he? Yeah. I think. And then he comes again sure. with the ship, the plane, the tornado. Yeah. And then you jump on and you just go up to space on your own. Yeah. I don't know what I feel about Death Egg. I don't remember Sonic much too. about the first Death Egg. It was... was that it was it. Level? It was just like... The music was like spectacular. It was like really creepy because you're up in space. Yeah. Was he um, much to it as it was, a level? No. Because I can't remember anything you, about it. You go into the first room and it has Metal Sonic. And then you go into the next room and it's the final boss. But there's no rings anywhere. Yeah, that was, that's what I remember about it. Oh, yeah, oh it, it literally <laughs> was just... Yeah, it was just the boss as well. Yeah. yeah. I think they were really, really good last bosses, though. Oh, yeah. Especially, like, the the other one. And, like, just It was a really cool, like, atmosphere. You were up in space and stuff. But there was just nothing to it. Mm -hmm. I like the arena for the last boss, but it was stressful. If you ever That's do it with it was, it's like impossible. Yeah. Because he can't jump that high. You can't touch <laughs> any of him. <laughs> you have to wait for him literally to like. Because he like goes up into the air and he comes back down and slams and it's like the body compresses down to the floor. <laughs> and that's your only chance to hit him with knuckles. It's yeah. like, ah, okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Great. <laughs> Great. So this is really just two bosses. Yeah. It's a kind of, again, a case of, like, um, the final zone, but I think yeah. that it deserves to be higher. Oh, yeah, it gives a lot more. It's more impressive stage for one. And yeah. it introduces Metal Sonic. And then it has a really cool, like, you can see the Earth in the background of, like, the, the Robotnik fight. Yeah. Like, below you sort of thing, so that's really cool. Where would you put it, Daniel? Ooh. Hmm. See, I feel like the ones, the first, well, Oil Zone and Wing Fortress are in that low because they're annoying. Yeah. And hard. <laughs> More than anything. Um, Death Egg. I feel like they're rating more like on the boss fights. Yeah. But it is very iconic because it's... I think mid ground again. Mid. Maybe bottom of mid. Yeah, just because there's not a lot to the actual zone itself. It's not really it's a like, zone. Yeah, it's just uh, it's just all pulled up by the bosses. Um, there's no rings, so it makes it stressful. Yeah, that's annoying. But yeah, yeah, I think below green, green. Yeah, but I'm a green. It just makes it because it's like a very epic sort of conclusion oh, to Lord. the game. Oh Pipe Valley. Oh, it's time for a special, special. zone. Sp special stage. Stage. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I enjoyed these a lot more as a kid than I do as an adult. I can tell you that much. Yeah. How'd you come uh, look at I things don't... now? <laughs> <laughs> we we me and Adam would go through these all the time and they'd be like amazing. And now whenever I play Sonic Two, I get to the third one and I can't get past it. Yeah. It just. I always remember the third one as well because that's when I think it really introduced like the bomb rings and stuff. Yeah, the bombs are fun, weren't and, they? And if you're playing it with like one player, but Tails is there too, you think, oh yeah, he can collect rings for me, and then he fucking gets blown off and loses all your rings. You <laughs> yeah, he's just in the background tumbling away. <laughs> one ring away from getting the emerald. And yeah, that's Tails really annoying. Be asked to jump. However, <laughs> as annoying as it was and as hard as it was, like it got. I'd say it's they the, are iconic. the best special zone. Yeah, I agree. Out of the three, anyway, for the three games. Yeah. Because the one That's in really three cool as we'll music. get to later is, like, too stressful. <laughs> 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 yes, <laughs> for different reasons. Um, It looked really trippy as well, because it had, like, a lot of 3D effects Yeah, because it was, on, like, 3D, like, wasn't it? Even it wasn't. It was really cool. Um, Sonic and Tails look like kind of 3D too. Yeah. And like um, the way Tails, had, like, Tails and Tails would go. Yeah. Was really, like, it, just, it was just a really cool looking <laughs> thing. The colours were like as intense as they looked and stuff. Like they were really well done. Yeah. 
At yeah, least it's like essentially one or two colours going throughout instead of like fucking loads of shapes everywhere. Like it wasn't loads of shapes and fish and birds flying around. <laughs> 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 Go mental. Yeah, and it also is like first person Sonic running, so it's like your first glimpse of. Yeah, it's like you being in his vision, even though you can still see him. Yeah. Hmm. Where should we put it, Danny? I think quite high up. I think so. As, I think as much as we funny. can't do it and we're shit at it. <laughs> Yeah. And it can kick your ass. I think it deserves to go high up. I think in Super Sonic. But where? Probably just bottom of Super Sonic. Bottom? Because I guess yeah. it's still not a proper level, but more substantial. It's a lot than of fun. The first and one. you do unlock Super Sonic for doing it, which is great. Set for yeah. Wing Fortress. Yeah, don't even Wing Fortress, is that silly? Even though, ironically. And then you can't use it in. It's going in the bottom of Super Sonic. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. and you can't, um, and you can't use it in Death Egg. So, nah, that dilly. So it bring, brings it down a little. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Bomb Super Sonic mm. seems pretty good for that. Yeah. Uh, but now we're going on to Sonic Fret. Sonic Tress. Sonic and trees. and buckles. <laughs> and buckles. Uh, yeah. Uh, when so I what. Well, when I first saw Angel Island, like I wasn't that big of a fan of it, but it's it's probably my favourite first level. Yeah. I really like the music. I love the aesthetic of it. There's a lot more enemies and badniks going on in three. Yeah, there is. There's, loads. there's, a, there's a lot more variety. There's like the the monkey in the tree. There's the rhino on one wheel. <laughs> yeah. There's um the uh what do you call it? The, it's like a weird like. It looks like a caterpillar in the water. Oh yeah, hang on. Let me go on my and little like badnik patrol. And there's like some sort of like pitcher plant that spits out um, spike balls at you. Yeah. It's your first introduction to Knuckles, who just rocks up and is like, "Hey, check out me! I've got your emeralds." I, I, I'm. I got the new. I'm the new guy down. I also like the introduction to the level, the way you sort of like swoop onto it off the plane. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool. it's Sonic Three that is really, really Sonic Three and Knuckles. What it does really well is the stage transitions. Yeah, the like, cinematic you, nature of it. You, you do something at the end of each level, and it leads you into the next one. Yeah, like it connects the levels really well <clears throat> with like big sort of set pieces. Yeah. Uh, is Angel Island one that gets set on fire? Yeah. You yeah. get like halfway through and then it gets set on, sets on fire. Uh, Sonic 3 introduced mini bosses as well. It also yeah. introduced the um, elemental barriers. Yeah, the, the brown. Even though I'm like looking at some of these pictures of Sonic 2 and I see Tails with an electric barrier. <laughs> I, don't, I don't lie. <laughs> I do. Look at the Emerald no, Hill I'm, one. I'm talking to them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is if you mix it with Sonic. If you did, I yeah. If you, you play, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. But it introduced those, and they were like really cool mm -hmm. um, power ups. And it was a really good way to introduce those mechanics, and then like the big rings. There was a lot of different paths. Like right at the start of the level, like if you just fly straight up with tails, you can find like a platform that moves up and down. Yeah. Um, and it <clears> takes <throat> you to like an area that like it's got a life in it and stuff. Nice. Um, the music's great, and then you've got like zip lines. Yeah. You've got like uh, cliff faces that you have to get across with the waterfalls. Um, there's like some water areas, but it's not like intense. It's just like it's a very tropical jungle feel to it. And first it's a really thing, good introduction. The first thing I know is it's like somewhat really like small, but like visually. Um, like the detail and like the textures and stuff it's more like realistic yeah. and like the shading because I remember looking and thinking I don't like to look at it it's just because it had come away from like the simplicity of the original Sonic levels but like looking yeah. at it now I like, really appreciate like how I love did, the like, how did Sonic 3 the graphics. probably I think Sonic 2 is my favourite but Sonic 3 is my favourite just like in general your personal favourite sort of thing yeah <clears throat> like aesthetically yeah there's a few yes. zones that we'll get into and stuff in a bit, so. Where did you put the first one then? I think I don't think it's Master and Roll Rank. No. I think it's I think it I I, I would put it above 
hilltop, but not okay. above chemical plant. But what do you think? Because obviously you, it's like a bit. It's like you, you with me with Sonic One. Uh, I say it's probably better than hilltop. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it has the advantage of it being a, a later game, but that's just yeah. how it goes, sort of thing. So I'm happy with putting it there. <laughs> well, I won't. I won't put it above chemical because chemicals um, no my bad day. Um, oh, missing, missing, moving. Sorry. Oh God, hilltop. Hilltop. Special. <laughs> Emerald and, and special. <laughs> Emeralds. <laughs> Boop. There we go. Special. Oh, the boss special. was really good as well. And the, oh, that was like a really big cinematic thing in that. Actually, when you got towards the end of the second level, mm -hmm. um, you would get to this bit, and it'd just be a long stretch, and then all of a sudden, like I wish I think it's supposed to be flying battery. Oh yeah. It comes in, it starts dropping like missiles and like stuff on you, and you run in and like, it's dropping bombs and stuff. And if you've got tails with you, like he just gets hit constantly. <laughs> of course. And then you open a forest, and then all of a sudden, like you get to like a, a waterfall, and then Robotnik shows up, and then like boss music kicks in, which is the best boss music in the series. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. And it's like really intense and creepy, and then. Um, once you, if you have the fire shield, you can be completely immune to it, but you just gotta be careful. If you double jump with the fire shield, you do like a shooting fireball forward and yeah. you can fall off the waterfall and die. <laughs> of course. Um, but then at the end of that, Knuckles presses a button that breaks a bridge that leads you into the next zone. Noise, which is? Which is. I don't know, Daniel. People oh, call God. it, it's either. <laughs> Hydro City or Hydrocity. Well, it's always, I call it's always it Hydro City. one word, isn't it? Yeah. I've always called it Hydro City because I always assumed it was like a city. Well, that makes sense. Water themed, it? But yeah. it's not. That It's one word, so I think it is actually supposed to be Hydrocity. Yeah. Well, it's very really plain words because it's like, oh, it's hydro powered, so Hydrocity, but also yeah. it's an underwater city. So let's say I, both. I. I <laughs> Really, uh, this is another one I really hated when I first played it because obviously it's underwater and stuff, and like yeah. it wasn't as like good as um, Aquatic Ruins and stuff. But like mm -hmm. now, I really love it. It's one yeah, it's very Aquatic moments. Ruins like, isn't it? And it's just got a really good soundtrack, and it's one thing that it does have its downfall is the start of the second act. It has a wall chasing you. Oh yeah. And you have to get down to like through the through the area, but once you get out into that area, out of that, it's just like it's such a good zone. It like really opens up, and it's like it's really cool like music, and there's a lot of cool bandits in it. There's like a it's like a turret that shoot. It's like a shell shooting turret sort of bullets up at you. Mm -hmm. The I think this is the one with the fish that I was mentioning earlier. That oh, yeah. and they like take rings off you. <laughs> um, there's a snail looking thing it has like a, a spiral shell on the back of it that shoots mm -hmm. up um there's something else as well i just remembered it and i've forgotten it already it's like i think it's like a shark another shark and they fly towards you yeah and they explode but this is another one where it's like really fast like it's oh, really yeah. weird because like, the, the, like, the it's such a fast through. stage you go th really fast you can like glide across the water which is really cool and then you go into like these like half pipes that like it's 3D and they spiral you down and then there's like a hand that grabs you and it launches you. Yeah. It's I just like think the... it's a really good stage. Yeah. It's like you were just stuck into like the pipe work just whizzing through and Yeah. It's really cool. There's a lot of branching paths to it again. It's just like a really I think and then there's like some hard bits where it's like you get sent down and it's like a rapid bit and you have to like break the bars because you get Sonic decides to hang on to them and stuff. Yeah, of you've got to just not drown. But if <laughs> yeah. you get the water shield, like you can find a water shield really early on. If you can keep that, you're fine for the whole like zone. Yeah. Just brief. Um the mini boss for that was um <clears throat> it was It was like I don't know what it was supposed to be. It was like a sphere and it had like fists on the outside of it. But then it would land on a pillar in the middle and it would like whiz up the water. Yeah. <clears throat> and you'd have to spin that. dash and like jump like, on whisk it. Whisk it up. And then the boss was like robotic and he had like a fan underneath it and he'd come down to the water and pull up water. And if you got sucked into that, then you'd get hurt. And then he'd drop like 
depth charges at you and you'd have to jump on depth charges like the splash they made to get him yeah so i think i think again it's just a really good level it's also got very good colors it's got a good color scheme <laughs> i was gonna say the, the the like the greens and blues are really nice yeah Um, I you think it? again. I'd put it in Supersonic again, but honestly, <clears> I prefer it to Chemical Plant. But yeah, I'm I'm happy to go down. Um, would you say above or below Angel Island? Do you reckon above Angel Island? Above, and I like Angel Island. I did. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't words at all because my voice is going a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, Angel Island. And hilltop and special <laughs> and emerald <laughs> shifter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now then, <laughs> I don't remember much about Marble Garden, so you're gonna have to film me. Hate in. Marble Garden. Okay. Hate it. That's all I need to know. Despise <laughs> it. That's all I need. Um, it's a really good themed level. Uh -huh. it has some really cool moments in it. Um, as you can see from the screenshot that you, you've used, yes. spike balls everywhere. That some uh -huh. of them go from side to side, some of them go up and down. Oh yeah, I remember that bit. Um, there's these weird like blue spinning top things, mm -hmm. and you stand on them. Oh and you yeah, you're flying across the level. Yeah. Um, there's these weird like I don't know what you call it. It's a blue orb, and it's got a face, <laughs> and it spits out spikes from its back. Oh, is it like sort of like a puffer fish, but like a badminton version? Yeah, it's got like googly sort of eyes on the front of yeah. it. It looks like it's got like a little snout, um, or like a trunk sort of shape. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, there's the spikes that you can bounce on, which are enemies. Oh yeah, I remember. That. I remember seeing you do that and being like, "What?" <laughs> and then there's um, there's a lot of fast bits in it, but. There's another bit again with just death where like because the first mini boss is like it's kind of like um mystic cave it's like a two drills pointing up or down or whatever on the side mm -hmm. and it it causes like damage to the area then robotnik appears and he's got a massive drill on the back of his and he's like breaks things in the area and yeah. it makes it stressful and you've got to get through before it like crushes you or whatever destroys you um and then there's a really big one right before the the boss. And then the boss is really fucking stressful because it's you flying with tails. Oh god. And Robotnik comes at you from different angles. Um and from the side of the screen with the drill pointing in different ways. But you have to basically you're just holding on to tails for the whole fight and you have to jump off and hit him. And he grabs yeah. it's a really cool idea. I really like I appreciate the idea of it. But it's so hard. Yeah, and then, it sounds um, <laughs> with te If you're doing it with Tails, like, if you do it with Sonic, then, like, yeah, that happens. If you do it with Knuckles, because I always wondered what would happen if you do it with Knuckles. He, he's holding on to Tails as well. But if you're doing it with Tails, you have to go underneath Robotnik and hit him with your Tails. Ugh. And it's really hard. It's, like, a really stressful boss fight. Yeah. The funniest thing about it is, like, there's another, like, sort of 3D thing in it, but, like, Robotnik, like, when he goes off the screen... He'll, he just a bit, like appears from the side of the screen, but going towards like the back of the screen, and it goes like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now I remember that. The little. <laughs> he just shoots up, <laughs> and then he comes back on the side of the screen again, so you can hit him. <laughs> no, I do. Recall. But just like the overall like stress of it, I just don't. I don't like it. Nah. And I'm more. I like my ruin stages. I'm like, you know, like, I love my history. But like, oh, what's what was this used for on Angel Island? to terrorize you yeah and it's like got a cool like backdrop and stuff you see like all the mountains and stuff oh, yeah. it's really it's interesting but it just i hate the, i hate the zone I hate playing it yeah so evil aquatic ruins where would it go marble garden i think bottom of smells like death egg <gasps> just in because... special zone above that i'd say yeah i'd say move the special stage down okay i was gonna say just just because obviously they're kind of they're, they're just like there um, 
but Marble Garden, it just, I, I just, I really don't like it. I think aesthetically it's cool. That's the only reason why it's not down in drowning music. Uh huh. Um, and then um, the boss, as stressful as it is, it does, it is kind of cool. And funny. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Um, and then from there, like it starts getting nighttime, and you're landing casino, uh, casino, no, carnival night. Yes, this isn't casino; it's carnival time. Well, it's pretty much carnival very, time. It's with... basically extension of casino night zone, but more like, like I theme really, party. as a kid, yeah, as a kid, I really liked it because I was like, oh my god, this is cool. Yeah. Um, obviously, since it got re-released i think it was last year or whatever it was they've changed the music of it and stuff because yeah, like it's a shame. the michael jackson's tie but i did i did really like the music because it was like the circus theme but like it's all i remember now i don't think i've heard the new one yet it's horrible i don't like it yeah do, 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 um, do, that's all i remember <laughs> yeah but like it's a level that slows you down there's a lot of things that can kill kill yeah. you uh the the mini boss isn't that great it's like uh I don't know how to describe it. It's like a... It's like a willy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The tip comes off. <laughs> <laughs> and it spins around, and it's like... The platform's like... Um, blocks, and if, it, if the spiky bit touches the blocks, it breaks the block. Yeah, just like a willy. Yeah, like a willy. But then you have to, like, hit the... You have to hit it, but it doesn't damage it, but it opens it up, it it, it, it gets a wreck. Yes. <laughs> and then the spiky bit, the tip, has to hit the side of the willy. Okay. And then it goes back inside and you have to keep doing it, but it's like electrified too. Just like a well just like a willy. Just like a willy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a good analogy. So is this a good thing or a bad thing? I'm trying to figure out why. No, that was a bad thing. Okay. It was just a bad horrible thing. boss. It wasn't a good design boss. And then the actual main boss of the level um what's it it was like robotnik and he had like a big ball which ironically <laughs> oh here comes well the balls the willy, <laughs> <Had> the willy. <laughs> <laughs> he had that and he'd drop it and then he'd go over it and he'd like magnify it back up to him and it was just like well i don't or he'd go like down to pick it up and if the ball hit you it hurt you but it was like a really heavy ball Mm -hmm. So it kind of bounced slightly and just hit on the floor and then he'd come down and pick it up. So you just jump on him and kill him. Great. Um there, there was like bits, there was underwater bits and like partway through Knuckles just decided to turn all the power off. Oh, what a guy. He just like presses a button and just like turns off all the power. Yeah. Um, And there's like balloons floating around and when you go underwater and you touch them like they pop and they have the oxygen inside them which is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah that's cool. But then it has the death platform yes. that a lot of people have lost their lives to because they ran out of time and didn't realize what they had to do because none of the other platforms work like this in the level where you land on it and it's like one of those on the picture where it's the red and white yeah like the draw triangle thing. diamonds yeah and you have to press up and down yeah and a lot of people think oh i have to jump on it and time yeah, the jumps and do like that because that's what you think it would have to no yeah. you just hold it up and down no doesn't tell you that anyway doesn't tell you that so i ran out of time that's another <sighs> memory i have was i was playing it in the other room yeah late at night i was like why can't i get past this <laughs> i don't understand um so overall i don't i don't really rate it that high yeah i like it more than marble garden marble garden oh yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably weird though. Because we had Marble Zone before, so I'm just like, nah, nah. yeah. Um, UK, yeah. So you would just put it still in Smells Like Death Eggs. Yeah, I think I'd put it. I think above. I'd put it above Wing Fortress. Above. But not above the other two. Uh, Spring Yard. I can't never this... say that. <laughs> star, star brain. <laughs> <laughs> so not above uh, Spring Yard. Yeah. Which is really weird because I don't really remember much about. Spring I know, yeah, Spring Guard was just pretty indifferent to, but I guess we didn't have that much reason to hate it either. So, yeah, I guess that goes again in its father. Uh, I can't remember. What father. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <for> that <laughs> special. <laughs> this is the real, the real challenge. This is yeah. This is the real dark hole.
of ranking Sonic levels. <laughs> ranking right. Sonic levels. Right. There was another weird thing that I remember about it where it's like, I know, somehow grabbed the next. <laughs> um, where there was like these. They were like glass jars. Mm -hmm. And like, you'd go through them and they'd shoot you forward like really fast, but like, yeah. you couldn't go back through the other way. Um, like, it was like a weird, like, magnetized glass dome. <laughs> it oh, wasn't yeah. a dome, it was like a glass <laughs> cylinder. Millennium dome, yeah. But at the at the end of that level, like, you get in a cannon and like you shoot up in the cannon and you land in ice cap zone. <laughs> yeah. That's how we arrived at all my zones. Zone. Fire cannon. Ice cap zone is one of my favorites for sure. Yeah. Again, I mean, really when like well, we were starting to say the music and Ice Cap Zone, it's just beautiful. You start off, if you yeah. play with Sonic, if you start off, you you land on like a snowboard. Yeah, it, it's got a really good sense of timing and precision. Yeah. It's all like snowboard, I just love it. And you do that and you go on and it's like going down, the music's beautiful, but again, they've changed it. Oh, no, man. It's another one that's got changed. Not me, Ice Cap. Um... Aesthetically, it's really cool. Like you end up in like the ice caves, and there's like the a first lot of really cool enemies. Ice level, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I was just looking at all the others. I'm trying to figure out. Um, there's um, like penguin badniks. There's yeah. um, the the spike ball ones, but they're like supposed to be like snow crystals. Nice. Um. Can't remember any of the others, but those two really stand out. <laughs> There's a lot of puzzle elements to Ice Cap Zone, which you wouldn't think, but it's very fast at the same time. And there's like a bit where you're in the first act, and you keep falling and falling and falling, but there's a platform on the left, and you'll just keep falling, and you'll keep falling past that one bit somehow, and you have to jump on that platform. Yeah. And then it like breaks it and you land down and then it'll like activate the next bit of the level. Which is really cool. Um there's like platforms that you jump on and you spring on. Um, but different to actual like springs. The music, the the first mini boss is like it's like a weird three pronged orb and it like creates snowballs and it like moves from either side and then throws the snowballs up in the air and you have to like yeah. dodge it. And then robotic, the boss for robotic was kind of hard because it had like a platform underneath it and like he would shoot out icy cold winds from it. You had mm -hmm. to jump on the platform before he did. He got you with the wind, but it was really hard. The wind. But it was a good boss. Just aesthetically, it was really cool. Like I love ice yeah. space levels love in games. Boss, yeah. It's something that's generally not in a lot of games. No. Nah. But usually when it is, they'd get it right. Like Ocarina, or, I really like the ice. Or like it depends. It would make it annoying when you make it slidey. Yes, <laughs> like Pokemon. <laughs> yes, and a bit like Donkey Kong, but that wasn't too bad. Um, no, that was just the the the, the, sl the slowdown from the snow. <laughs> the the cave was a bit slidey as well, but that the cave. Wasn't. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about the cave. Where you just slipped around with your big monkey feet. The second act for Ice Cap was like all outside, whereas like the first bit was more inside. Yeah. Um, but I I think it's really high up. I think we've gone up one for the top, Andrew. I think we do, Daniel. I think we do. <laughs> Don't tell that about it. <laughs> I, I think I'd... Would I put it above Mystic Cave? Ooh. I think I'd put... Mm. Ooh. That's the, that's the real question. I think I would put it below Mystic Cave, but above the other two. Oh. Controversial? Not really. Not controversial. At least they're it's right actually next pretty to acceptable. <laughs> yeah. We could even say it's like joint, joint first. Yeah. Uh, Vice Bat. Aquatic Casino. Oh. And we're, we're moving on to the. The final level of Sonic 3. The final level? But that's silly, Andrew. I don't understand. There's only six levels, yeah, which was really weird because when we played it and we were like, what, is this it? Because we completed it in one day. Did you ever find out why <laughs> you did it like that? Was it just they ran out of like, time before I launch? I think it ran out of just... time. And then they were like, oh, we'll just work on our knuckles and I'll just have the rest yeah. in there. It was, it was really trippy, though, just having like the big knuckles 
Sonic and Knuckles K uh, cartridge, and then opening it up and putting another cartridge on top of it. Yeah, just slotting it in there. You're like, wait a minute. Um, I really like launch bait. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty hard level. Yeah. Um, but it's just a really well done thing because, like, the whole thing with Sonic Three is that Knuckles. Uh, robotic arrived on emerald island and he told them that they were after the master emerald yeah and he's tricked them all this time and he's like the only way i can like kill him and stuff like that is if i have my death egg back yeah and like, which he crashed on the island yeah which he crashed on the island actually then, don't know uh, i think that might no, have been... it was a new one yeah no he, he crashed on the island in the comic Sonic and, Knuckles. and then he's rebuilding it um, but I think in the game, he was building this from scratch, yeah. Yeah, he built it from so. scratch, and I was like, it's a really, really cool level. But like, right at the end, there's like a... Is there two acts to it? Yeah, there is. I can't remember what the first mini-boss was, like, or the mini-boss was for it. It had a really cool soundtrack, and then there was, mm -hmm, like, creepy-looking enemies, and then there was, like... I think that's where the Harriers are, actually. There's, like, these little... Yeah, I do remember enemies. the Harriers. Let me have a look. My and then, like, you go through an alarm, and then all these Harriers come after you. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Um, yeah. I think. Hello? Just... Well, the, there was like a. The, can't remember what. The, <laughs> snail the, I remember there being three. Um, oh, yeah, the Snail Blaster. That was interesting. It was like on the wall, wasn't it? And it opened up and then like it shoots Did stuff like that. Not remember that at all. Yeah. Um the mini boss, it was like there was like three containers at the top and they opened up and I think something opened up in it and it had like two arms or something. I can't remember exactly what it was. But then the the, the boss that you thought was actually the final boss was yeah. like robotic, he was in a turret and he'd shoot like cannonballs at you and you had to jump out of the way and they'd hit it. Yeah. His turret. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden you He'd run off, and you're like, "Oh, okay." And then you jump into like an egg, what do you call it? The egg carrier? Yeah, like the like transport thing. Yeah. Egg capsule. And then, and then tails would just fall, <laughs> and you were like, "What? Why can't? Why? Where's tails?" And me and Adam tried to cheat it and like get tails yeah, to fly across, and then he <laughs> he fell, and then you're Knuckles like, yeah. punches you, and the thing laughs, and then he falls. Yeah. Because the robotic sets the death egg off. Mm -hmm. And then you get on this platform and then there's just like a this like evil music just starts playing. <laughs> and like you have to fight robotic and he's in like uh he's initially oh no, he's in initially in like a, a again a set of turrets sort of thing, and it's like a, a tower and he comes on from either the left side or the right side at the bottom. Yeah. And you jump on it, you have to keep going until you destroy all like the guns. And then he comes on in a machine that has like these two giant arms on it and it has spikes on top of it yeah and you're like falling from the sky because like you were attached to the to, to it yeah um that's a really hard boss mm -hmm. what was the last he, boss andrew he, technically it was the last boss yeah in a way. but what's really weird is like this this happens in sonic and knuckles as well i'll get into that when i get there. but like when you beat the boss it shows sonic and he's looking on as the as the death eggs falling from the sky yeah because i don't know if it's supposed to be like oh you stopped it and it blew up and then that's why it's happening or yeah. it wasn't powerful enough and it's just like messed up and it's malfunctioned and it's fallen well here's the thing i just looked at when when in the launch base zone the death eggs in water yeah i think it's, it's, it's like it's like half one, submerged so i'm not sure if it's yeah. like it crashed there he's rebuilding it, it and then, yeah, that well, must have been what happened. Because like all the scaffolding stuff like coming out of the water around it, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, because you, so like, you see it okay. in the background. So yeah, that yeah, makes that's sense. what I'm looking at. Because I thought it was a kind of a case of like the death side. It was like the death egg too. Yeah, well, it, it must have already been built, and then it's just having to fix it, whatever. Because it's, it's yeah. not the same death egg as the one in the first game. No. Because he didn't have his face on it. <laughs> um. I, I think it's really cool, but it's really weird because like you, you're you falling from the sky on this platform and stuff and yeah. you see it in the background mm -hmm. falling, it, it's like blowing up and like exploding, but Sonic's falling on this platform, but if you were attached to like the platform, you would have been below it. Yeah. 
because it would have been higher up in the atmosphere but like it, and maybe just because of you know gravity mm-hmm. if each terminal velocity is heavier and stuff and it just like <laughs> fell faster or something i don't know but it just looked weird yeah um I, I think I, I really enjoyed launch base. Would I put it above? Yeah, where would you put it? I th- maybe above Angel Island, but not above Hydro City. Hi- Hydro oh, no, maybe not above Angel Island. Oh, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. What do you think? Um, I mean, does it have the epicness of like a last level? Because it does by the sound of the description. It, do- it does have... A really sort of epic feel of like, oh my god, something's like something big's happening. Yeah. And it's like, oh my god, there's the death egg. So it's like all like the story sort of all coming together. Mm-hmm. Um, but it doesn't have like the last feel of like Wing Fortress. Yeah, it's not quite up there. No, because it's so sort of like, oh, you're going to you get to stop it, and then you do stop it. So you think, oh, okay, well that's it then. Well that's then obviously sort of knuckles. <laughs> Maybe just blow Angel Island up. Yeah, okay, so that, well, that makes it easier. Mm. <laughs> We're going for ease now, everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's what's deciding the order. Uh, uh, <laughs> Emerald Hill Special 2. Um, yeah. Hold up. Yeah. Pop them down. Oh, oh. I'm running out of room, but it's fine. Don't worry right, about yeah. it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. The real challenge begins. Okay. Right. Right, we're done with Sonic 3, but now we're still not done with Sonic 3 because Knuckles yeah. and Knuckles is here. And and Knuckles. Yeah, Knuckles. Um I would I would say uh I when I first saw Mushroom Hill, didn't like it, love it now. I love it aesthetically more than Angel Island Zone. Yeah. Cause it's just so like different. It is very different. You're in a forest, there's like all these really Yeah, cool, I think that's what it again, is. It's mechanics. the forest. The forest vibe of it. And it's just like mushroom. Like it sounds stupid because like, I, I when I was younger, like t- f- food wise, I did used to eat, I used to eat mushrooms, and then I got to, like a point, and I just couldn't. Um, and it kind of put me off because it kept reminding me of that. Well, mushrooms were eating these big comic cartoon ones. <laughs> no, it was just like mushrooms in general. No, no, it's just like just imagine seeing that and reminding you. Like, <laughs> See it on a plate. <laughs> this big, and, like, but I just, and it was like the first level you got to play was Knuckles as well, because like yeah. unless you plugged it together, which you would either play Sonic or Knuckles. And um I didn't like it as much, but then there was like a lot of cool enemies, there was like a lot of cool mechanics, like you held on to like the seesaw thing and like you'd pull it down and then it'd go up. Yeah. So you'd have to keep doing that. Um, there was like the dragonfly enemies that you could hold on to like certain mushrooms and you'd float around the stage and like glide down. Um, there was a lot of things designed for, even in the other levels as well, obviously, because like they, they obviously had Knuckles in mind for it. Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff was designed for Knuckles. Yeah. Um, there was a really lot of twisty, turny like branches and there was like swings you could do and you'd like keep going around the swing you'd have to press it jump at the right point time and you'd go flying mm-hmm. music was perfect um the mini boss was kind of cool as well it was like a lumberjack type enemy i feel oh, like yeah, that's yeah. when like the mini boss is like really ramped up was in really this one game. yeah um and then the actual boss was like robotnik he's like there was just like a satellite dish and mm-hmm. I, I never realized this. it wasn't until Richie explained it to me, was that the closer you get to the satellite dish, the more the level changes. Ah, uh, that's clever. Because <laughs> uh, it starts off very green and vibrant, and then you get to the next area, and it's sort of more like neutral, um, dulled colors, like the mushrooms, are, like the, at least with the grasses and the greens, but then like the mushrooms are like green. Yeah. And then you get further in, and they're blue, and it becomes, the colors go down even more. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, every it's every time you get close to the to the, the satellite dish, and then it's like sending like a signal or something, and you hit it, and all of a sudden Robotnik pops up. <laughs> He's like, "Hello!" He's like, "Bloody hell!" I hell. And long. then um, you like chase after him. There's like spike balls between like wooden arches, and you have to like jump it, obviously go underneath it or whatever, mm-hmm. and hit him. And it's a really good boss. I do like it. But I think 
And actually, when I said it before, Angel Iron's my favorite first level. I actually forgot about Mushroom Hill because we yeah, weren't talking about it at the time. Absolutely Mushroom Hill is actually. Out of the water. Mushroom Hill is Master Mushroom. <laughs> Master Mushroom. For more. Yeah. So, would you say on that tier above Angel Island? I would or, I'd or say higher. Master Emerald. <gasps> Master Emerald. Master the, Emerald. At the, bom at the bottom or above Aquatic? I think below Ice Cap. <gasps> yes, I son love of a bitch. <laughs> I think it's just that good of a level. I do like it. And like I said, it's the first level you get to play as Knuckles, so you get to really experiment with him as well. Yeah, I think um, it's the best start. And then if you do Sonic 3 and Knuckles and you do it through with Tails, you see what actually happens to Tails. Yeah, he gets killed. And he lands in, yeah. <laughs> he lands in Mushroom Hill and he's just dead. <laughs> She's not like, ah, oh, I've perished. Uh, what's it? See you in a night and a quake. These, these just keep getting further and further down. Fine. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Um, I feel like I don't know. It's it's really hard. Sonic and Knuckles is really hard because there's so many levels in it. Like, well, there's like six, but like, yeah. I just remember them being quite stressful at the time, but then I love them now. I remember struggling when I played it recently, but just because yeah. I have no sort of knowledge of it, so I kind of don't know what I'm doing more than anything. I I love Flying Battery, and just to continue that on, like the way that the level transitions work does the yeah. same thing if you do from Sonic 3 to Sonic, Knuck Sonic and Knuckles. Mm -hmm. So, like, at the end of Mushroom Hill, you run over to the edge, and then all of a sudden it's flying over you, and you jump up and grab onto it. Yeah. That's really cool. You think, as a as a, as a a stressful flying fortress Yeah, level, esque level, yeah. It's really well done. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got the perfect music. Of... It's got really, it's like, all of a sudden, like, you, you, you're swinging on bars. <laughs> I'm swinging. Um, there's a lot of secret paths. There's a lot of cool elements to it. Um, what was the mini boss? I feel like the mini boss was that like laser thing again, but I can't remember. Oh, not the bloody laser thing. Also, is this battery for the death egg? Is it literally a battery for the death egg? I don't know. Or was it just called? It was just called battery? flying battery. Because it's just like a big ship again, isn't it? Yeah. But it's like it, maybe it was. I don't know. Maybe I actually don't know what it was it. supposed to be. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like the the whole point of this is that like, Robotic wants the Master Emerald. Yeah. He's trying to get it, and he tricks Knuckles into to power up his leaving. flying battery. <laughs> yeah, to power up his flying battery. And Adam always said that like Knuckles was brainwashed, and like when we get to that level, he said like, like look, when when you not when Knuckles gets knocked out, you see like a white thing appear in his head. That's the that's the crown controlling him. And so I was like, no, I think he just tricked him. Yeah, because he's <laughs> never met anyone else before, so he just yeah. told him that you were the baddie, and he was the one trying to protect him. Yeah. Because he's like the, the protector of the Emerald. He's the last of his kind. Yeah, he, he doesn't know what's going on elsewhere. So he just believed him. Where I would put it, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think, again, I'd put it in Super Sonic. But I'd, <laughs> I'd move those three Sonic 2 levels again. <laughs> Andrew, dare you. <laughs> um... But... I can't even I, argue because I, do, I don't even know. Um, yeah, I do. I really like Flying Battery. I think it's just a really well done stage, and it's just it's so much better than Wing Fortress, and it's just got a yeah. cool aesthetic to it all the way through. And then I the mean, boss is like is. Robotnik, and he's like hanging on. He's like underneath the platform, but he's got like arms holding onto the platform, and he like monkeys around. <laughs> oh well, yeah, it's going like, there. And swings, and then there's like flamethrowers coming up from beneath you and stuff. It's really, it's a really well done stage. What? A guy who's ready to go ape. Yeah. Right, I've Bill Bob. <laughs> Here we go. Bill, Bill Bob, Bemerald Bill, and Bessel Beige uh, Boo. And <laughs> Bessel Beige Boo. <laughs> God Running sake. out of room here. It's fine. It's fine well, I'll, well, I'm going to have to shrink him next time. So what goes in there. Um, right. Launch, uh, no, not launch bass. Flying bass. Andrew. <laughs> From flight, blind black tree. To, to Banda ancient Bob, Egypt. Banda Ballis Bone. <laughs> Banda Ballis Bone. 
I, uh, I, I, I have such a mixed bag on Sandopolis. This is probably one of the most unique zones in the Summit game, isn't it? Well, with these Summit yeah. games. It's really, like, the first level is really sort of trippy because you land from Flying Battery. It's like, you think, why is there all this on? <laughs> yeah. On this floating the flo island. The, fly the floating island has, like, the most diverse sort of zone yeah. biomes of anywhere. And you land and you're, like, in a desert. And there's, like, cool enemies. There's, like, the uh, there's like, like a block enemy. There's just, like, a block with legs and an eyes. And then there's a scorpion. And there's a few other things. Well, I think, and then the boss itself, like the mini boss, is uh, you arrive at like a pyramid or a is temple the or garden? something. Like, yeah, yeah. And you just like you have to knock him into the sand and he dies. Yeah, Mario's but he's just the there protecting it. But I think, and then there's like, um, what do you call it, where you hang on to like the side of a cliff. And then, like you, you wire down. Oh, abseil. Yeah, you abs. There's like abseiling bits, and you can like jump <laughs> on the wire, and it flings you across. And there's loads, like a really loads of cool stuff happening in there. Yeah. Act two. Yes. Is disgusting. So the ghosts. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I remember the ghosts. <laughs> the ghosts. So you have to hit switches. You have to hold on and like turn the the fires on to stop the ghosts. Um, the ghosts are like cute. Hey, they're just well, little guys. And then, like, they turn into, like, big evil, like, bunny, bunny goats. Yeah, I remember that. Reason. And then there's bits of, like, like, areas filled with sand. It's kind of like Hilltop in that respect. Instead of lava, it's sand. Yeah, you, you, just, and you can yeah, just get killed sand. really easily. There's, like, a lot of areas where, like, you have to hit a switch and you have to push them and then, like, they, they close slowly and you have to go on a platform and you have to wait for the platform to get across. And there's just a lot of jeopardy because obviously it's like pyramid, <laughs> so they put all these like sand yeah, puzzles in it and, and stuff like and traps and it's just like it's just so stressful Ugh. the boss isn't that hard but it's like robotic and he's like in a sphinx and then you hit the sphinx and like all the bricks fly off it for some reason <laughs> and then he's underneath it and then you hit him but then they come back on somehow i don't know i don't know I would say if it if, if it wasn't for Act One, I would put it in Smells Like Death Egg, but I think it goes on for not too bad, Nick. Oh, because Act One's really good and Act Two is just really stressful. But I love it aesthetically, as mm -hmm. as I haven't got my glasses on, but I'm going to push them up anyway. As a um, historian, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like those Egyptian ghosts. Yeah. Um, so so I'd I'd put it. I'd put it, I think it has to go above like Sky Chase. Yeah. Because just there's a lot more to do in it, but I don't think it's as good as. I think Act 2 just brings it down below Scrap Brain and Metropolis. Because even Metropolis, as much as we hated it, there's a lot of good things about it. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff going on. There's there. not a lot of good things about Act 2 of Sandopolis. <laughs> <laughs> Bad stuff happens there, man. Okie dokie. Big. I mean, at least those two are oh, together. It's just us trying to think how it is. Um, what was the last one? Because I just accidentally covered it. Oh, yeah, de a death egg. Oh yeah, death egg. The fig. Yeah. The fig zone. Um, oof. Getting crowded. This is the most packed one we've done. Well, I say yeah, that. Our career of time. But... <laughs> <laughs> that, just, that, one. that just broke <laughs> um, in every way. Lava reef. Oh. Do 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 do. I can't do it. But uh, <laughs> I don't think that was it either. No. That was <laughs> you know what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lava um, reef. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it, Daniel. I love ra lava reef. I love lava leaf. <laughs> yeah, lava leaf. <laughs> I'd rather leaf. It lava reef. Um, um, I do I do really like it. I think yeah. it's a cool concept, and then like the boss is really intense. Tell you what, that's I, really, you go... I really like that the death egg pokes through the top. That's what I was about to say. Oh. Okay. You ruined it. <laughs> but now I wanted to see it. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're in the lava reef, and then, like, you get into the second act of it, and um, it goes all, like, it hardens up, I'd say. I think that's Ooh. the best way to describe it. Oh, we're going back to uh, Carnival back to Night Zone. Again. <laughs> <laughs> the Willy the Night Zone. The Willy's are back, Daniel. <laughs> 
Um, there's a lot of... It, yeah, it like goes... It cools down, so it's like very hard magma. And magma. Yeah. Well, then you go to the boss level and like the... It's... The, the death egg is poking through the top and his, his eyes flash up and then everything just like sets on fire. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, bloody hell. Oh, cool blimey, governor. <laughs> and then you have to like jump on like a, a lava waterfall. A lava, lava biscuit, fall. as they call them. What? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh... And at the bottom, robotics there. And then you're like, I think he doesn't he tilt, there's, he tilts the lava somehow. Oh, don't tilt the lava. Don't tilt it. It's like some sort of like game. You know, when you're a kid. <laughs> yeah, you board game. Tell the lava. Like, don't don't wake the chef and all that sort of <laughs> stuff. Don't wake the chef. <laughs> Think about it combined about four different games. <laughs> Why is the chef asleep for starters? More questions than answers. Because he was busy cooking, Daniel. He wasn't that busy if he was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I think the music, yeah, it's good. It's got a lot of cool aesthetics to it. There's like a creepy enemy though, and it's like a, it's like a hole with an eye on it, and it spits like a toxic cloud at you. Classic. And it, and it just like drains all your rings, and if your rings go, you die. Well, that's a bit annoying. Yeah. Are all the pipes as robotic like fitted like a steam system? Is he like trying to? Um, Maybe I don't know. Like, actually. I never thought about it. Thermal power is death egg out of there. Yeah. Like, Pop it out. Because <laughs> a lot of this, a lot of the stages, like the, the further you get into Sonic and Knuckles, are lore based. Yeah. And I think this is the last sort of level that's not. It's like the last area towards what prote- what they're protecting, mm-hmm. or what Knuckles is protecting. Yeah. Which is the Master Emerald because it's like right there on the layout. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. As for where it goes... Where does it go? Nobody knows what we do, because we're about to put it there. Where? I think it's going to be another Super Sonic then. Oh, here we go, right. Well, <laughs> decide where, and then we'll we'll do some jiggly pokery. Let me select all the ones I need to shrink. I uh, think... I think above... I don't know if I put it above Angel Island or not. I think it definitely goes above Death uh, Death Egg Launch Bay. Um, Angel Islands. Or maybe. Um, what's this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm gonna shrinkle them in. Well. Yeah. What is it? This uh, launch base. <laughs> Flying battery. Actually, should I shrink them off or should I shrink them like a third? How many more you're gonna put in it? Which we don't know yet. Um, we don't know, but I, f- I feel like it's gonna be a big one. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, green uh, Emerald Hill, and then special special stage. What selected here from another level? Is What's this that? then? Because <laughs> that's a selected. Uh... <laughs> you you see me on the recording, me just like trying to decide how big oh. I want to make this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I know what I did right. I, spe- I selected special stage three. That's why. Oh, I'm you like... absolute mad lad! Um... I was like, "What is happening in here?" <laughs> Breakfast. God's <laughs> <laughs> sake! Oh, oh no! <laughs> it's our time again for breakfast, apparently. Uh, so, uh... Where, where are you putting it? <laughs> up, up, below, um, <laughs> above launch base. Okay. Okay. I forgot to select launch base, that's fine. Give me, give me a minute. Below launch base. Yeah, uh, no, above launch base, sorry. <sighs> okay. I thought that is. <laughs> <laughs> the outrage. <laughs> now I've got to fit it in all shrunk down. I know. It's just painful to watch. Uh, Lava okay. reef. All right, I need to get it. No, it must, it must be as awkward as this. <laughs> oh, these are like everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> biscuits. Right. That hilltop. <laughs> I think next time, you know what we should do? What? We should, as we're going through, we should put them in the folders of the rank. Oh, that's actually 
Good shout. And then it makes it easier to move them around instead yeah, of no, going through the whole idea. list. Especially these long ones. Yeah. That's a good idea, Andrew. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. I have them sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Is that it? Did I forget everything? I mean, I yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Did I Launch forget base. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I got it, Daniel. Don't worry about it. I, I won't worry about it, to be honest. Um, okay. Yes. I'm I'm ready. Uh, sure. Two hours? What the hell? I didn't realise we've gone down for yeah, that long. it's a longie. Uh, you can cut little bits out of it and, like, us moving stuff around. That'll probably save a good, like, six hours. <laughs> we'll see. Um, Hidden, Hidden Palace is interesting because it's, again, it's kind of like a... It's just a boss stage. Yeah. But it's very lore-heavy. Because you yeah. go in, you're in this palace, and then that's where all the, the emeralds are. So what's Knuckles protects him. It's another transitional stage like in Sky Chase, where it's just like getting between things, but then it actually yeah. fills you in on the backstory of stuff. And then as you're going towards the wall, you see like um, Supersonic versus like a demon. Oh. During the Knuckles <laughs> fight, and you're like, oh, what's going on here? What's that on the background? What's this mural that's fulfilling a prophecy? Yes. Um... And then, um, I think it's like finding a demon that has like a, the, the Master Emerald. Mm -hmm. um, and then Knuckles gets zapped by Robotnik. Yeah. Because he's stealing the Master Emerald. And then you collapse and then you go into the next zone. He like helps you get to the next zone because he wants you to get the Master Emerald back. But in terms of oh, wow. actual, I feel like it's a very good stage for that. It's very Cool to look at mm -hmm. it, the knuckles fight's interesting because you obviously you're fighting knuckles and it's like oh okay this is interesting yeah you know like sonic and knuckles just have this big rivalry and then obviously mm -hmm. it's all about sonic and knuckles because that's what the game it's in yeah but i think it's set i think i'd put it in not to be bad nick because there's not much else to it yeah if it didn't it's have any story, just story stuff, stage, be like yeah. a lot lower just because it's yeah nothing to it really but would i think you? i'd put it top would you yeah. <gasps> no. Mm. I'd put it above Scrap Brain. Brain. Yeah. But I wouldn't put it above Metropolis. Because Metropolis yeah. just has so much stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. But if it didn't have that story stuff, then yeah, I would. I'd be. I'd shove it down. Yeah. Drowning. I keep wanting to say drowning machine, and I don't know why. <laughs> well, I think something wrong again, Joe. <laughs> I think uh, it's because in my head I'm thinking like dowsing machine. It's not... <laughs> <laughs> just say it's now. S scrap. Uh, Scrappers. Uh, sand. Sandy. We're just going sand. <laughs> Sky. <laughs> Marble. All the elements. <laughs> just the same random words now. Green. And death. <laughs> oh, tough. It works. On so many levels. It just works. Where's Death Egg? Oh, there it is. We want Sky Sanctuary Zone. Yeah. You. Yeah. Uh, now that's a banger. <laughs> so now that is a banger. Certified. That's an absolute banger. Andrew, um, Andrew, certified banger. Now, this is the other level that um, <clears throat> I was going to refer to because, like I said, in the. Uh, where the when the Death Egg is falling. Mm -hmm. In the um, end of the other one, the <laughs> launch base. <laughs> the other one, yeah. It's been a long two hours. So <laughs> it has. We're nearly there, Andrew. Um, um, when you when you get here with Knuckles, this is Knuckles' last level. Yeah. And you get there and you fight Metal Sonic. Oh yeah. And he like supercharges himself on the Master he Emerald. He to get he, he uses it, the... Andrew as a flying battery. I told you. Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> but in the background, you see Angel Island or the Floating Island. Yeah, like, you're sort of like back above back it, aren't you? Yeah, but you're supposed to be above it, but you're not. You're on the same level well, as it. Off to a slight angle. <laughs> I, yeah, I, but, but that's what I was going to say. It was like, you, you're not supposed to see it because Sky Sanctuary is supposed to be above Angel Island. Yeah. But, but it's for, not. <laughs> for 
epic reasons they were like let's put yeah that but for epic reasons like, let's put that in the back because otherwise it'd be very plain yeah let's make it look really cool but the, the music again music's fantastic there's a lot of mm -hmm. epicness going on because you're chasing after the death egg which is taken off now because he's yeah you're literally going up the through the room in the sky to like chase the death he egg. has put his flying battery on the right <laughs> up his ass <laughs> up and his Knuckles nostril like, on the it makes egg. you think because when we, we did it we did it with like sonic and tails and stuff mm -hmm. um it makes you think that like Knuckles sort of like dies when you do it with the Sonic side. <laughs> yeah. Because he's like, he got electrocuted and then he's just like, he's like really, he can't walk barely and stuff. And he's like, keeps collapsing. He's like, go he on, presses without a button. Me. Yeah. And he's just like on the floor and he's like panting really hard. And then you go off and if you come back, he's gone. <laughs> you say, oh, maybe he fell and collapsed. Because and, he's like right on the edge of a thing. You say, oh, he fell and he's just like died. He perished. <laughs> he perished. <laughs> Um, it's a very like it's a trippy looking stage because it's very like obviously like yellowy golden color yeah and it's just like you don't really know what it is you just know that like the echidnas did something with sky sanctuary <laughs> which probably explains in the comics but i don't know what it, in, um, game, I don't, I don't know what in the comics is. it sort of like disintegrates and just collapses i don't think it goes into the sky like, does, it does it does yeah yeah it does that as well in the game it does that here yeah and there's all these like robotnik robots because like knuckles his bosses aren't robotnik they're like robotnik robots yeah they're like the little like ones yeah Eggman. and the uh they're, they're all in this stage yeah um so you fight those as you're going along and i can't think of any other bad nicks that are there to be honest but then there's like clouds you can ju you can just jump on clouds and then the ruins are collapsing and stuff as you as you're going up mm -hmm. um Probably crushing and killing thousands below millions Angel Island. <laughs> millions Sky killed Sanctuary them. attack. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's like a really cool bit at the end where like you're running up like a um it's like a pillar or something yeah. around it and you jump on it's collapsing. But then like with Sonic you are fighting Metal Sonic along the way. Um and okay. he does like the the Metropolis boss with the the with the balls. <laughs> oh, not the balls again. God's sake. Yeah. This game so sexual. Whacking his balls out. <laughs> I think there's another boss as well, because Sky Sanctuary is only one act. Yeah. Well, I think he appears like two or three times through it, and you have to fight him a couple of times. Just harass you. He's just harassing you, and then, like, obviously you beat him up, but then... Oh. Sonic jumps off to go to Death Egg. Mm -hmm. But then... It doesn't really make sense, like canonically because like then the, the master emerald is there uh -huh. for knuckles to find yeah but then the idea is that sonic's gone up to the to destroy the death egg which has the master yeah i don't know i think in the but comics they is... like ended up on the sky sanctuary because like the metal sonic was like taking it and that's where they find him with it sort of thing yeah and then like i think all those other like egg robos whatever they're called I come and try and grab it to take to get that egg. Like Metal Sonic, can I have the Master Emerald? Nah. <laughs> I don't even know what you said because it cut out. I went, no. <laughs> it, it just went, the score was like, no, we can't, we can't share that. Oh, we can't, we can't have that. But it'll be on the recording, though. don't worry about it. Just a boom. <laughs> it was a lot louder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Where would you put it? That's my question to. <laughs> Another Super Sonic, Daniel. Oh, <laughs> where? Bloody where, Andrew? Sick <laughs> of you. Help, help me. <laughs> Somewhere low down. <laughs> um, I think it. I think it has to go above. <laughs> I think it has to go above, above, above launch base. Oh, for God's sake, right. <laughs> <laughs> But not above Lava Reef, because the, the, the epicness of the battle with Lava Reef is really cool. Right. Let me just... Kiss Flaps. <laughs> Which zone's that? <laughs> um... <laughs> Piss Flap Zone. <laughs> Wasn't that carnival day? <laughs> <laughs> could have been, could have been. Um... Wang Bitry. <laughs> Don't know, I last said that, that was being funny. <laughs> 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 Yeah, sure, I'll follow that. I'll show that one. I'll show that one. And then. Emerald Ale. Special chew. 
Move them down again. I might just move, leave them like all the way to the side. <laughs> to yeah. Of sure. Yeah, I'll leave them there. It's all right. You're an then, I don't even you know actually what now. There's, there's like two left, three left. Okay. Fine. Okay. Whatever. I'm just gonna shrink my. Leg I already down. have an idea where I think these are gonna go. To. Oh, I bet you do. Rigged misses. Right. <laughs> uh, right. We're on to the, the. The last stage was like the setup to the last <laughs> final area. True this is death egg. Final. Death egg dos. No, no, this is the true death egg because you actually get to explore it. Muerte huevos dos. <laughs> What's egg? <laughs> What's egg in Huevos. 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 Yeah. Oh. Huevos <laughs> dos. Said robotic. Yeah. <laughs> was that, an, that like, animation? <laughs> with the, I was going to say, it's like, I don't know. It's a Oh, God. So, yeah, death egg. Uh, <laughs> um... This, I, I love it. I think it's probably... Love the inside of it. It's really cool. I think it's the best stage in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. <laughs> I think it actually, it might even beat Mystic K for me. Woo. I think Woo. it's that good. It's such a good epic final. The inside of it's really trippy. You're in space and like all these like really cool things are happening. The music's just like really ominous. Well, it's, it, the inside and, of it's like the, in, the, like the inside of Death Egg looks like space, doesn't it? Like it's... Yeah. Like it's black, like, but you, it like circa circles around so you like see the shape of yeah. it from the inside. It's done really well. There's like all these like trippy like lasers, like grids, and you you fly through them to get to different areas. And then there's um, gravity sort of well areas, and you have to hit certain things to get through. Yeah. Um, what's the mini box for that? I can't remember. Oh yeah, I do actually. It was like a, it was like um, it was a pillar, and it had like an eye in the middle, and it had, well, again, balls spinning around it, but they like moved up and down and stuff, and you hit it, and one of the balls would blow up and shoot spikes mm -hmm. out of it, and you kept doing that until you got rid of them, and then it'd come out, and it had platforms, and you had to jump on those to break it, yeah, and then you would end up outside on the Death Egg on the like the surface of it and like go mm. through all these like really trippy like things you can see like mobius in the background oh that's cool i didn't know you went on the outside of it yeah you actually got on the outside of it in the second act and there's like all these like electric platforms and you have to stand on like what he's got there in that mm -hmm. thing yeah um in that screenshot but like you have to stand it and all the floors are electrified yeah, yeah. and you have to stand on it to stop it and just basically stop getting electrocuted yeah um <laughs> And then um, robot the Robotnik fight's interesting because there's like these little turret. Oh, they're like, they're like little... <laughs> they roll around. It's really hard to explain. They roll around. Yes. And then you get in these like lifts and you go upside down and like you flip upside down. But like when you do it, it inverts the gravity on the things that are... Um, the little things that are rolling around. And Robotnik's in the middle and he's got like shields around him and you have to basically like get them in the right spot and then revert gravity to then have them drop on him yeah and the shields basically follow you but then you've got to watch out for those and then you've got to just keep doing that but then that's not even the last boss because then you get into like the true last one of the true last bosses mm -hmm. and it's like the big robot kind of like two but it's even bigger and it has like its fingers and like the fingers like slam down on you, but you can just like stand there and just spin dash and they'll just keep like trying to crush you, but they'll just die. And then it chases after you. And, oh my God. and like the, the platform's collapsing behind you and it's like got the, the master emerald inside it and you have to hit its nose, which is shooting fire at you. And then um, you hit it and it opens up and there's like a massive beam like shoots yeah. out at you. And with just using Sonic on his own, it's kind of hard because, like, you have to jump over it. Mm -hmm. You can do it, but it's hard. You can do it. And then there's like, um, and then he, he, then it blows up if you, if you manage to do it and you're running away and the platform's falling faster and faster and then the death egg's blowing up. And you, 
either get the master emerald or if you have hypersonic which you get for getting all the super emeralds in sonic and knuckles yeah. with sonic 3 and sonic knuckles that's the only way you can unlock this last stage <laughs> yeah i remember that um you unlock the last stage which we'll go into in a bit but death egg aesthetically musically the the, the colors of it the the it really feels like the ultimate last stage the final yeah showdown yeah whacking it in first yeah right in first let's shove it in first <laughs> you don't need to convince me anymore sorry mystic cave you've been knocked down a peg sorry <laughs> mystic cave you're just not you're just good enough, good enough. <laughs> I, ice cap where's ice cap I like the last cap mushroom Mushroom thrills. Oh, I love some mushroom thrills. Casino night. And. Five rooms. Then, you know. Five rooms. Okay, oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now we're on to the true final boss of the game, which now, is Doomsday. This one's going to be interesting because I think, based on what you do, it's a contender for first again. But it's not a level. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a tough one because the whole thing is like you're flying in space and mm -hmm. Robotnik is ahead of you in like a, a a ship. Yeah. And he has the master emerald and you're hypersonic chasing him through space, which is like it's such a flawless like execution. It's like really creepy, the music's really intense. Yeah. There's like all these like meteors flying towards you. That's not the music. That's the other music. I know, but I like that music. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, first thing I think of. Um, ah. <laughs> hello. Um, yeah, he he's flying through space and like. But the thing is, the stressful thing about it is that, like, you, you, you basically, the idea is that you're supposed to catch up to Robotnik and then, like, he starts shooting rockets at you and you have to fly around him and get him to get hit by the rockets that he's shooting at you. Yeah. Then it blows up and then, like, a big giant version of the Robo Robotnik appears holding the Master Emerald and you have to chase it down. Mm -hmm. I remember that bit. But what it, what it doesn't tell you is that you can only catch up to it if you hold right. Yeah. So you're just like flying after him. He's like, why can't I catch up to him? And then like you run out of time and you die or you run out of rings because obviously you're like hypersonic so your ring count is going down. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I've done that. But no, you have to hold right and then as you're holding right, you'll catch up to him and you'll hit him and go flying back and then you just keep doing it until you blow him up. Yeah. Um, It's an epic finale to the game. It's, it's just amazing. But it's just an amazing finale to the game and stuff, but I don't think it should be in Master Emerald just because a it's it's not a level. It's not <laughs> a level. It's a boss fight again, isn't it? Really? Um, yeah, I think it's the best boss fight in the game. And then Tars uh top supersonic. Yeah. Or, yeah. I think I think top supersonic. It beats Chemical Plant. I know it sounds like it's because it's not a zone and stuff. It's just they call them zones even if they're it, just like boss I think, levels. Yeah, I feel like you can't be in the top, but it can at least be the top of the second best one. Yeah. I think that's a fair compromise. Eh? Perfect. Well, no, it's not. Shove it here. <laughs> According to our... <laughs> I'm just going to put it over the top of Super Sonic because it's funny. And I can't oh. be asked to move him, and we're near <laughs> the end. <so. laughs> Absolute outlaw behavior. Um, eh, right. Chemical plan. Did 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 did. So, oh, we've got two more, haven't we? I forgot. We have, but these should be very quick ones. Yeah. But I think, yeah, I think for levels, then Death Egg is really good. But I think mm -hmm. for bosses, that's really a really good way to finish off the trilogy. And then yeah, at the definitely. end of it, like Knuckles, um, you put the you put it back. It shows like Tails catching Sonic Dead on back. the plane. Yeah. And like they they fly. I mean, Angel Island's already collapsed onto the ground. So again, you've murdered millions. Yeah, millions <laughs> dead again millions dead but like it shows like they just like fly behind like the peak of the island and then all of a sudden they come out the other side with no master emerald and then all of a sudden it takes off again <laughs> so oh, there it's it like, is. all right okay 
And then um, it shows like Knuckles like waving bye to them or something, or you just stood there looking at them as they fly past. Whatever. That son of a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> this is really my crib. So, to wrap up, we've got the Sonic 3 and Knuckles special zones. See, I like these, but like... I like the concept of them. Yeah. I don't like the stress of them. No. Um, they're too... Well, they start off relatively easy, but then they're... Um, I think the they thing really that fast. ranks them above in terms of stress level every other special zone is, it, it gets to a point where if you touch one ball, that's level over. <laughs> well, it's always if you touch one ball, it's level over. I know, but like, it gets worse and worse because obviously you fill in the blues. so fast! And then yeah, like, you fill in the blues, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you fill them in then, wrong, it, you know, creates barriers. Yeah, you've got to do just... it. Then, and then in Sonic and Knuckles, they introduced like the bouncing yellow ones. Good. Yeah, they bounce you off into like, Usually it lands you in a safe spot. You don't land on it, but it obviously depends on where you face it. Yeah. If it's all like a weird angle and you're on a sphere and the sphere's going around and you have to collect blue spheres and then there's red spheres. If you touch a red spheres, you die. It gets faster slowly. Yeah. And, and it gets so do. fast and then like the colors just like you can see on that screenshot. It's like a weird, what color was, what color was that sphere? It's like, it's like an orange and a brown. Yeah. And then like there's the blue orbs there and then you've got the... I think it changes the blue with each level. Sky. Check it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. They all change. They're all different. And then they get really hot. Like, some of them, like, one of them, I think one's like purple and like lime green or something. Oh, fucking brilliant. Just to kill your it's eyes. Like, uh, and then obviously, the, like, the, the super, emerald, super emerald versions are even harder. Yeah, I can't remember that. They're really full purple. <laughs> and you can only do it if you get. Uh, you can only do Team C if you get the ball. It's brilliant. So it's like you have and to you... do the hardest thing just to unlock the hardest like yeah. boss fight. <laughs> and you can only do it with Sonic as well. I always remember having like it, memories of doing it with Knuckles, but then like you can't do it with Knuckles and you can't do it with Tails. It's only yeah. Sonic, which makes sense. It does make sense. Um, and that's what the mural is referencing. Hey. It all comes back full circle. What balls? A little balls. <laughs> yeah, more balls. <laughs> yeah, back to um, balls. But where would you put? Would you put it on not too bad, Nick? I was thinking there, yeah, in the middle. Yeah. Um, but where? I put it above Sky Chase. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> yeah. Right. Sky Chase, and then. Yeah, so Sandopolis, special stages, Sky Chase, Marble, Green, Death. Right. Marble, Green, Death. That's my favourite. <laughs> Marble Green Death, I love I love that. Right. Whew. Figure this out now. A few. A, a few. I can't have another rank. Uh, <laughs> oh, I see it. <laughs> God's sake. What? Right, special zones going in there. <laughs> God's sake, Andrew. What? Oh, spicy. <laughs> yeah, this is a late one, as you can tell. Uh, yeah, it's currently 3.28 in the morning. Uh, <laughs> good plan on this. Right, so the last one. <laughs> we've basically just got the bonus stages in Sonic 3 Knuckles. The Bounds round. The Bounds rounders. Right, so, right, okay. But right. what I remember, Come obviously, on, there's like the, gum, the gumball machine. Yes. Then there's the the slot machine, which is like it spins round very fast. Yes. When you go in it, and you've got to like bounce from the outside into the middle. So it's kind of like a mix of Sonic One Special Stages with the the Casino Night. Yeah. <laughs> then there's a really fucking annoying one where there's like again balls. Yeah, balls everywhere. And it's fast you have acting. to you have to jump from ball to ball, and there's like <laughs> a. a a line that's following you up and if you hit the line then it's over mm -hmm. but you have to get to the top you get as high as you can i don't know if it ever ends <laughs> it never ends and there's like like paddles on the side that kick you up higher and stuff yeah i don't remember any of the others i think that was it yeah i vaguely remember them because i remember you showing me and black like, oh what the hell are these yeah <laughs> what is this i like 
like when you first do him it's like okay this is cool like the only yeah. one that's really useful is probably the gumball machine because mm -hmm. you get all your power-ups from it you can get one up you can get rings you can get like your your fire shield your electric shield your bubble shield mm -hmm. and that sort of stuff um the the cheese wedges disappear every time you hit one <laughs> the baby like set springs that yeah, set of springs at the bottom. If you hit them once, then they disappear. But I think you can reset it with okay. the with something that you get from the machine. Yeah. Um, I don't really rate them that high though. To be honest, I don't. No, I always include them because they're sort of like a nice little extra. Like, yeah. We had like... the special zones, and they were just sort of like an additional little thing, more yeah. fun thing. So, where would guess... you? As a collection, I guess not too bad, Nick. Not too bad, the end. Yeah, they're just like, they're just sort of there. But they're not terrible, they're just like, they're just, fun if you like them. They're just there for... Better in oil ocean. <laughs> what isn't? <laughs> well. Exactly. Here, yeah, here are the uh, list of things. Spring are. Yard. <laughs> Carnival yeah, Night. Wing Fortress. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, that's, Daniel. That's our list. Right, we won't go for all of them, but we'll go for the top ones just to check that you're happy with so, the top. Master Emerald Order. Master Emerald. Death Egg, yes. Yes. Mystic Cave. Yes. Yes. Ice Cap. Uh, yeah. Yes. I think so, yeah. I think Ice Cap should go there. Yeah. And then Mushroom Hill. Yeah. Um. Casino Now, Night. these last two. Casino mm. Night, would you keep it in Master or would you move it down? Mm. No, I'd keep it there. I'd keep it there. Yeah. Okay. Not sure about then, uh, Aquatic this Ruin. One. Not sure if I keep this one. What if we switch? What we do? Like a bang and switch of Doomsday. <laughs> a bang and switch. Uh, <laughs> I, don't know I, can... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was going to say a bang and switch. You swap Doomsday. What do you think? Yeah, go on. Why not? We were like, oh, we can't put it in the top, but I feel like it's bad. I feel, I feel like, yeah, it's like an epic finale to the thing, to, to, the, the, whole, to the game. To the series, and we never heard of a Sonic game again. Right. No, we didn't. Apart <laughs> <laughs> from Sonic Mania. Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we switched um, a quite ruined for De Doomsday. Hadoom's Haday, fair enough. I, will I feel like, yeah, it's just not... Trade you. Quite agree, yeah, Aquatic Greens is great, but I think it's just like the fact that Doomsday is Doomsday. <laughs> that is good point. It's good argument. Yeah. And then in Supersonic, we have Aquatic Ruins above Chemical Plant. Yeah. I still agree with that. Well, I wasn't going to go for all then, the rest of these. I was just going to leave it. <laughs> but we can go through. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with it above. Hydro City. Yeah. Angel Island. Yeah. 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 Then Lava Reef and Sky Sanctuary, I think, are definitely above the others. Yeah. And then we've got Launch Base, Flying Battery, Hilltop. Hilltop. Emerald Hill. Emerald Hill. And, and Special, special Zone. <laughs> <laughs> and then the rest. And the rest. Yeah, just and the rest you can see right. Yeah, yeah. save was going through it again for another two hours. <laughs> yeah. So, what Thank did you, you think so much. of our rank? Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Yeah, let us know in the comments what you think. Like, if you've ever played Sonic One, Two, Three, and Knuckles. Uh, hey, where also, would you let us know your top favorites? Yeah, go do do a list from one to thirty-six and let us know where you put yours. <laughs> yeah, list them all. Right um, and also let us know which is your favorite in the. Trilogy and combine Sonic and Knuckles together with it for Sonic Three because yeah, it's, they're, it's, they're full it's game an technically. expansion of it. Yeah, uh -huh. they join together at the hip, literally. At the hip, at the cartridge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Found by Pixels. Yes. Become a Pixel pal. Uh, don't forget to follow our social medias at the mm -hmm. Drew Gamer Dangerous Designs and subscribe to my channel at the Drew Gamer. Go to Daniel's website, DanielsDesigns.com. Com. And yeah, and we'll... follow me on Twitch as well. Yes. And by the time this goes off, I hope to be back streaming. <laughs> yes. 
He probably will be. Yeah. Alright, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Bye. Sonic. <laughs> Thank you.